hi! Hello! Hi! Welcome! Welcome to Curtains! Thank you so much for coming! So, this is very exciting. I have been planning this event for, I would say, maybe a couple months now? Uh, it's kind of been in the works for a while, so I've been really excited about that. So it's really great to see everybody here. Ah, hello! So, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. Um, I told all the players not to listen, so they won't be able to hear this. The reason that I have been planning this for so long is because this is a love letter to my friend group who I'm running it from. Or running it for. Um, I've already run it for the first half of the friend group. I'm now running it for the second half. And they have so very generously said, hey, like, we can, we are okay with it being streamed. Here's the fun part, though. I told them all at the very beginning of character creation that they should not, uh, they should be careful with, uh, their characters because this is a very deadly game and they could lose their characters. The truth is, they're not going to be playing their characters for the entire game. They're actually going to be playing themselves, which is super exciting. I have secretly given them all playbooks um, that they are not aware of uh, that I believe represent who they are as people. So I've very custom. Yeah, I know. I know. This is kind of exciting. I've given them given them playbooks that fit their personalities and traits, um, abilities that match their personality. Um, and that is the real twist of the one shot tonight, and none of the players are any of the wiser. So let's get it started. I am so very happy to have you all here tonight to embark on this absolutely wonderful adventure. One moment, I'm letting them know that I'm showing up. Um, but... Yeah, this is, this is exciting. This is like the really exciting part. I've been getting music and some crazy other surprises too, such as custom PNGs for all of the characters. So, without further delay, let's get fucking started, shall we? Uh, 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 what is you. gooping? Oh. Hello? <laughs> what is what is up, hello, um, hello, um, hello, hello, hello! Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, everybody, uh, say hello. 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 I'm going to... I'm sorry, Old Calvary, you're doing us such a good job. I'm going to change your nickname. Goodbye. I'm... Oh, no, how do oh. I banish him? Wow. How do you banish him right. to the nether? How do I banish him? Oh, God. Oh, what, I know, like... I know, I know. Okay. I've banished him. He's Is gone. He for sure. Because well, now I can just watch this drive. He's gone. Zold He's Calvary. actually destroyed. Straight we up. Uh... We got rid of him. He's gone. He's... We don't like him anymore. We... Well, okay. He's the only one that still does the job. So, I... you know, he... You know, he did these... They're a little cool. He's a little cool. I like how uh, anybody who doesn't know me and is coming into your chat, their first impression of me is, I heart men. It's satire. It's, it's, cool. it's so satire. Heart men. It's not satire. Well, oh, I don't want to the Twitch. Just like, just like how did Spy and I are dating. It's just satire. Which is, it's... Guys, listen. I don't like men. I love them. You're so oh. right. You're so right. <laughs> You're so right. Anyways. Anyways. Let's get started without further delay. Could I have you guys all introduce yourselves and the characters that you will be playing tonight? We go left to right in this house. Uh, Fuck you. What is- oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, Cat. the man who says I love men looks like he's first, so I feel like that's gotta be him. What do you- what do you need me to explain again? Just, like, name- Yeah, so, tell me who you are, uh, Mr. Minecraft. Tell me, uh, like, a little bit of- whatever you're comfortable sharing, and then tell us a bit about your character. Uh, this can be looks, name, uh, gender, um, uh, power set, uh, anything of the sort that would be, um, helpful for people to know about you. Um, okay. You want me to int introduce my like myself? Yes, first? introduce like, you as a person. I, I I would like you guys to introduce yourselves as people, just as like uh, so people get a sense of who you are. 
<laughs> um, this is like so fucking college icebreakers. <laughs> I'm, it, Hi, my name. Give me your name, I, pronouns, uh, okay, where you're from. I and then and what? Well, it's your favorite ice cream flavor. What? Yeah. What's your major? Where are you from? Is like a sandwich. You're so small. Okay. All right, Cad. Stop stalling. Go. Okay. So, uh, my name's Cad. I'm a. I, I don't even know what to like consider myself. I am I'm a gamer, I guess. Like you're I a game. men lover. I love men. Uh, I also love women. I don't discriminate. Um, <clears throat> uh, and uh, yeah, I'm 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 excited to be here. Uh, a bit about my character. My character's name is uh, Dusty Jameson, also aka Waypoint. Um, he is the Nomad playbook. Um, how he looks. He is. He's rocking a nice, uh, sleek orange hair with glasses. Um, he's got some funky tattoos on his arms. Uh, he wears black pants, black, um, I guess tactical boots is how you describe it. Uh, a, an orange jacket with a, like, black turtleneck underneath. But, like, black turtleneck is in, like, it, like it, it's just the turtleneck and then it's a sleeveless shirt. You know, you kind of get what I'm saying. Um, and yeah, uh, he, he also got neat powers too. Cause he's a nomad. Uh, he, he has a rift generator and he also has a cloaking rig so he can cloak himself. Um, yeah, that's what I got. Nice, nice, nice. Alrighty then. Rain, rain. Aha. Aha. I, I am called rain occasionally. Um, let's see. I do a little, I do a little drawing, I do a little writing, I do a little playing of games. I will be playing tonight, uh, Beatrice Lawrence. She's the heart playbook. She, she's got augmentative, what is it? Augmentative tech and power augmentation so she has she can make other people stronger and she's also got bionic little legs so she can jump real good yeah pretty lady so mm -hmm. powerful alrighty the little guy spy um I'm spy and um, I don't really know what to share about myself, so I'll just go straight to my character. I'm playing. Well, 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 well. You can say that you drew the absolutely amazing poster for this well, yeah. one shot. I, I drew the poster for the one shot, um, as a part of a trade that someone has not finished their half of. I. <laughs> so it I is so hard. <laughs> I'm writing. Writing is takes a lot longer, especially when I'm working I know, I know, I like know. sixteen hours daily. I know, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I know. I love you. Oh, Die. I love you too. Um, I am Sorry. playing. <laughs> I'm playing Travis Kane, who is an innocent. Um, he's the innocent playbook. Um, he's sixteen years old. Um, he is like paper white pale with um white eyes and pale blue eyes and his pupils um the one distinguishing factor about his pupils is that they are actually in the shape of stars um and yeah he uh he's in the future and he is a shitty person in the future so he's struggling but yeah, yeah that's him Yeah, that's so cool. Alrighty, who's next? Hello. Hello, Brandon. It is my turn. It's it Mr. Unenthusiastic time. underscore. Yeah, <sighs> I'm unenthusiastic underscore. I stream on occasion, although that occasion is less and less occasionally as time progresses. You can find me at the local mall kicking uh children's attractions such as quarter rides and uh those little 
mechanical animal things that they ride around. <laughs> I am playing Patrick Napoli, aka Collision, the bull. If you don't know what the bull is, I am essentially a walking, talking weapon. Uh, superhumanly tough, incredibly strong, and uniquely skilled at fighting, and uniquely skilled at fighting he is. He, I'm not going to get into it, but um, he has particles that turn things that he touches into weapons that hit much harder than they should. Uh, he's a tall dude with shaggy black hair and usually sports a uh, t-shirt and sweater. He usually looks pretty freaking angry. Uh, he's got a bit of a soft spot for some members of the team and he's got a bit of a bit of a not so soft spot for others. Wonderful. Let's go. Hell yeah. Also, Cad, stop <laughs> guys, stop hitting on each other in the Twitch chat. <laughs> can't help it. I I just can't help it. I really can't. For sure, for sure. For sure, for sure. Okay, guys, stop it. Isa, you're up. <laughs> Alright. Uh hi. I am Oh my god, the thing actually moved. That's so like cute. Okay. I am Isa. And I am, I, I do some stuff sometimes, like everything. If I'm asked, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. And then about my character, her name is Astra Calypso, or otherwise known as Andromeda. And she is the Nova, which if you don't know, is basically literally like a, a nuclear bomb. Blech. Let's say like that. And she has red hair cut short into like this weird pixie. Don't exactly know how to describe it. She got bright yellow eyes. She always got little bandages on her face. And she wears like bright undercolors with like a leather jacket on top. And she is loud and stupid very stupid and sometimes she doesn't think before she speaks <laughs> and she's just really fun to play i really love her and i yes and i inexplicably have 20 dollars at all times to bribe anybody with <laughs> for sure so, for sure yeah so you can definitely bribe encore for sure i'm I'm for sure. Like he has to stop if I say. Can You're you stop so for, right. Like... He has to stop destroying <laughs> the city if you simply bribe him. <laughs> if I give him like twenty bucks, how is everybody exactly? Has, You're so has right. Taken it yet? Nobody has taken the dollars yet, but somebody will. One of these days, it's gonna work. You're so right. <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> so yeah, that's wonderful. Um, just a little bit of setup before we start. Um, once again, uh, you guys know me as a GM. I tolerate bullshit. Um, I'm perfectly okay with pretty much anything. Um, we have- we enforce the X card. Um, we filled out- uh, I had you guys fill out a consent form beforehand, just so I basically got a sense of roughly what you were and were not comfortable with. However, you know, this is a consent-based game, so at any time you can call X card, even if you've previously stated that you are comfortable with this topic. You do not need to, um have an excuse, you are always just free to use the X card. It is just always for you to use. Um, please use the X card when we breach a scenario that you are uncomfortable with, and we will go back and rewind and make sure that everything is okie dokie. Um, now that I have said what I need to say, um, if there are any questions during the game or something you don't understand, you're always free to just say hold, I'll answer your questions. Um, and then everybody has set up their character sheets, excluding the basically when our team first came together. However, we're going to do something a little different today. So. Let's get started. I'm actually going to change the music really quick. So this is very nice. This is very sweet. I'm big fan, but let's get a little, let's, we, I know exactly what song we need to play to start. Oh, oh me, oh my. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Alrighty, um, let's go here, let's go, I'm gonna skip, 
Okay. I love commands. Big fan. Oh no, Groovy. I miss Gooby so much. Poor Groovy. Dead. Poor Groovy. I can't believe he had to die so soon. Taking too young. Oh my I know. Lord. It's no. I know, it's my yeah, favorite. No. It's it's my favorite. <laughs> it's put my... that way. Put it away. It's so easy. It's so easy to <laughs> play. Some... It's so easy to play Cult of Simulator. It's so it's fun, it's free, it's simple. So we open our adventure with six individuals at a wooden table in California. A tabletop piled high with snacks and cookies and way too many dice for any reasonable friend group to have. All in that little house on the hill, surrounded by miles of... I, I think you call it forest. <laughs> and cows all across the land. Snacks strewn around the table. As we see a single book in front. Masks, A New Generation, written by Brendan Conway. As the book opens, we travel through a swirling galaxy of blues and whites and open up to a not-so-sunny day in Halcyon City. Dark gray clouds loom overhead as thunder rumbles from the distance. We see buildings in ruin, shattered to pieces. City Hall flag- c The City Hall waves a new flag. One with a smiling jester face splayed over. The city has been torn to shreds by a new villain. One who seems to manipulate fate and luck. The fabric of reality is at his fingertips. And thus, the party stands as the only line of defense left. We meet our crew members. Scattered throughout the city, we see comic panels flying by as we see Dusty moving atop buildings, Patrick in a care center. I want to ask you all, what have you been doing during the city's destruction? I'm going to actually start with, I think I'm going to, I'm going to start with Ent. What have you been doing during the city's destruction? Um, I think Patrick's constantly trying to get out into the front lines. I think there's too much for him to lose and too little time for him to lose it. But I think he's been constantly pushed to the wayside. I think he... I think for one reason or another, he's constantly finding himself in the wrong place at the wrong time. Or rather, getting other responsibilities pushed onto him. I think it's uh, an instance like the care center. He found that he was needed there more. And too much to his uh, disappointment. Although, helping people is never a bad thing. I think he just thinks he's a better fighter than... A helper. An actual helper. Yeah, for sure. You are currently find yourself stationed at uh, one of the one of the kind of last remaining buildings in the city. Uh, this building is um, kind of placed in very inconspicuously, so it's a little harder for Encore to get to. Um, and this is where a lot of people have been hiding out is the old care center. Um, and I want to ask you one more question. Who or what have you lost? Um. This can be anything. This can be, you can give me a person. You could give me a place. You could give me um, some sort of emotional wound that has been inflicted upon you. Uh, but the basic premise that I am having you all be tied together is that you all have lost something due to Encore's rampage. And thus yeah. are find yourselves together. And yeah, you all vaguely went to the same high school, you know, you kind of know each other. But it's the idea of you are all kind of the last teen heroes in the city and probably some of the last heroes, period, in the city. So, it's a bit of a loaded question, I know, but... Yeah. For sure, for I sure. think... I don't know if we beforehand settled on um a member of his family but i think his family's all there i think 
There is a brief period of time. A big thing with the bull is that they were taken and experimented on. I think that he, once he returned, he got back in touch with his family and started living there again. But I think his neighborhood was annihilated during one of the first attacks. His family was safe, thankfully. But they were in shambles after that. Oh, for sure. So yeah, I think, I think that that's I a think big that, uh, motivator. I think that works perfectly. Um, I think we kind of flash back uh, to kind of like the blue sunny day that it all happened. That everything went wrong. And we kind of see this beautiful neighborhood um, more suburban in nature, um, kind of like um, some have fence gates, some have open, like a little bit of a backyard. There's play sets. One has a trampoline with like two kids bouncing on it. And we kind of see uh, maybe you're uh, holding like a basketball or something or just kind of like milling around. And we kind of see this dark presence move over. And before there's even a moment to process, windows are broken, buildings are crumbling, pillars being bl blown to the sides. And before you know it, your neighborhood was gone before you could even stop it. And before you could even confront the villain, he was already on to the next, and on to the next, and on to the next, like that, and that, and that. Everything crumbled as these red strings of fate tightened on everything and everyone. And I think that's what happened to your neighborhood. And it's kind of like a, you know, because you're obviously super buff and powerful. You'd go up and fight him. But I think <laughs> I think it happened just so quick. And he moved on to the next one and the next and the next. And there were so many heroes going after him. And one by one, they fell like flies. We're going to go to Rain next. Rain. What have you been doing during the city's destruction? I think, I think she's been she's been saving people. She's been trying to help as much as she can, pulling people out of rubble, moving things, um, giving people the power that they may not have by themselves to pull people out of places clear roads, whatever she can do to help. Absolutely. Who or what have you lost? Well, um, her dad was a really prolific a retired hero, and I think he's gone. Tell me a bit about your dad. He... He was... He retired when she was born. He was a very powerful hero, but he was... There were there were heroes that were on par with him, and it was just a little... He felt, he felt safe leaving the city in other hands, so he retired and he became a father. He pulled out of retirement when Encore came to town. Nobody beats him. Nobody beats Encore or nobody beats your father? Nobody beats Encore. I think at least for some point, nobody beats your father would have been a little true. But I think his first defeat was also his last. As we kind of see... Um, as we kind of flash back to another comic book panel, uh, as we kind of, like, um, flip back through the pages, and we see... We see Mr. Lawrence, uh, charging through the city, um, after Encore, uh, alongside a couple of other heroes. And in a split second, Encore turns around, flicks his hand, and as his hand flicks, all we see is red. They stood no chance. No matter the years of experience, age, nothing can stand in Encore's way. I think you would know a little bit about Encore's powers. 
at least a part of Encore's powers. Encore has the ability to manipulate fate and luck. Um, and these two things are separate. They interlink and uh, speak to each other uh, quite aggressively and quite synchronously. But they are two different things. And I think you recognize the ability of fate at play is this kind of this kind of um almost uh, um macbeth like charm that is uh like you know how like in the story of macbeth um uh like no one can kill like no man of woman born shall harm macbeth it's mm. it's very similar to like that where he kind of lives this charmed life this charmed existence that cannot conflict with any hero. And, I mean, I mean, I mean, you're, I don't know about your dad, but if he's Macbeth in this case, you, your dad was certainly not Macduff, for sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is this an acceptable answer for you? I would say so. Alrighty. Dusty. Hey, hey, that's me. That's you. Dusty. That's you. That's for Mr. sure. What have Mr. you, Mr. Dusty Jameson? Yeah. <laughs> what have you been doing during the city's destruction? Um, I think a lot of what Dusty has been doing, unlike kind of uh, the rest of his team so far is he's kind of laying low a little bit not in, like the sense of like he's not doing anything but he's kind of trying to keep to the shadows um i think right now his main priority is to get more information on encore so he's been using what he has on him to kind of like scout out and recon what encore is doing and trying to figure out more about what they are. Yeah. And because you're doing that, I'll give you the second part of this power. Encore can... Thank you for following! Encore can manipulate fate, but he can also manipulate luck. And as I described, these two things are different. They function differently. You recognize luck. The manipulation of probability. When you flip a coin, it is a 50% chance of it being heads, and it's a 50% chance of being at tails. His ability can change that probability to say, oh, I want to, when I flip a coin, I want it to 100% of the time be tails, and flip that coin endlessly to 100%. That is one of his other abilities he can manipulate the probability of circumstance. And while this often comes off across as, like, very luck-based, it's very much like like Domino from uh, Deadpool, where it's, like, always in the right place at the right time, or as they're following, there's miraculously a giant uh, inflatable bear. Like, it, it's these circumstances that you have noticed, that things just happen. Uh, and they are always in favor of Encore. No matter what they are, they are always in favor of Encore. Um, and I think you recognize that, well, I mean, if you had the ability to manipulate it so that you could always win, why would you never make it not 100%? I think that might be something you realize. I mean, why would you ever want to lose? Yeah, that's a good point. Speaking of losing... Ah... Uh, ah, uh, here's the stinger, for sure, for sure. Nah, what do you have to lose? Go. What do I have to lose? Yeah, or what? I guess not what do you have to lose, what have you lost? Unless you want to say that you don't have anything, you haven't lost anything yet, and uh, I could, you know, 
crazy, I know, like, take it from you in the first, like, 20, 30 minutes of the game, you know. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> what do you tell me, Cad? Um. First time for, <laughs> for everything, for sure. I think... Um... I'm trying to think. I didn't think this far ahead. Me when I, I get me when I get these devious licks by killing off everybody you love, for sure, for sure. Uh do you have a yeah. family? Actually, no, wait. So you're the nomad. I wanna say, um, hear me out. What if okay. you lost uh your equipment? Um It doesn't like have to be the equipment my... that you use to like as okay. part of your powers. But let's hypothetically say, in a scenario, you had some sort of, like, think uh, like some other was... ability. Like, let's say, if you look on your the playbook, maybe you can had I... a third ability, and I can nixed I... it from you. Can I suggest something? Uh, I would love a suggestion. Um, I think, uh, as far as far as it goes right now, I don't think Dusty is capable of leaving this, like, this the current dimension that he is in okay he's like he can generate rifts but he cannot generate a rift outside of this this current dimension got it i think and i think it's kind of like being on a sinking ship it's mm. it is like you know like you i think uh because you've traveled a lot of dimensions haven't you yes you know what it's like to be in a world that is being destroyed. Like, I think you know when mm. things are going down. And I think being here and having your rift generator not being able to properly work is very scary. Mm. It is very scary. Because you, through careful watching, you've seen how quickly Encore just mows through people. I mean, in typical mask fashion, yes, villains don't typically kill heroes, but... You know, we're we're gamers. We we do a little bit of gaming here, and Encore is a very deadly villain. And I think that is something that you've kind of clocked, something that you uh, know, and it's I think it's very scary uh, to kind of recognize this sinking ship and go like, and kind of clock like if I'm not careful, this could be my end. So yeah. I'm perfectly fine with that answer. Swag. For sure. Alrighty. Little guy. I don't know who you're talking about. Um, Who's next? This is it's by the little guy. Yeah, well, I'm not little, so it can't be me. It it's gotta be Isa. Hey, hey, listen, it's you. <laughs> I I oh. called on Spy the little guy, so he has he's got to be the little guy. Um, what's the first question? What have I been doing? Yeah, since... what? Yeah, what have you been doing during the city's destruction? And you can tell you can the... I, you can elaborate a bit about Equinox if you would like. I you... think Travis has just been on the front lines, like or at least like as close as he can get. How have you survived? Oh, Equinox, probably. I was, I was about to say, <laughs> I've got a great idea. If you're yeah. okay with this. Shoot. I think... I think you uh, were fighting on the front lines with Encore. And I think at that point, Equinox had basically posed a temporary truce as equinox had basically said i know that we that you do not approve of the things that i do and would rather would rather be stranded on a desert island than even communicate with me but encore will kill us if we are not careful and I think at that note, it kind of, I think it clicked in your mind that this was not, this wasn't a, 
Equinox is fucking around. He's this isn't like a Doctor Doom like oh that's what heroes are for type beat. No, he was serious, and I think he was serious up until the moment he disappeared. So Equinox is gone. Well, he's unfortunate. He's disappeared. He's, he's not disappeared. dead. Well, that's good. At least I'm not dead yet. I mean, you could. Um, I mean, you don't know. You you basically saw him vanish into space. So like, he could be. I mean, you wouldn't know. You know. Fucker pussied out. Damn. Oh, you're so Sorry. right. You're so right. For sure. For sure. Um and. For the thing I lost, I think it was my secret identity. I feel like Encore would be the type. Especially with in alliance with Equinox. I just feel like the cards would align perfectly. Where it's kind of out in the open that Travis is related to. Slash is. I um, think so. Yeah. Is related slash is one of the big. Uh, to one of the biggest. Former biggest villains in Halcyon City. I know. You you have to take the most massive L by becoming the second biggest villain instead of the first. Kinda cringe. Kinda cringe. But yeah, that's what I lost. We see... Another few panels. Um, We kind of move in on the skyline as we see Dusty lurking. Kind of watching this... Um, watching this event as... Equinox um, kind of moves up and stands toe to toe against Encore, and he actually fights back just a little. There is a little bit of scuffling, um, and I will say Encore does get a little bit of a startle by Equinox's abilities. Like there is definitely some sort of oomph that Equinox has with matter manipulation and reality manipulation that going against another reality manipulator is like they kind of hit similar bars. But I'm afraid I'm afraid Equinox could not play the same symphony that Encore sings. And thus um, we kind of see in this moment as you are basically just arriving on the scene uh, he holds out his hand, and these red strings wrap around Equinox. And in this moment, you see him pull into himself. Um, and as he pulls into himself, he disappears. He literally vanishes. Um, and you can kind of hear struggle, and there is uh, blood left behind, but there is no corpse. And I think in that instinctual moment, you kind of call out. And Encore simply smiles. And I think I think he takes away your secret identity by Hmm. I'm not gonna be mean here. I think I think rather than killing you, I think he just toys with you. I think he takes your mask, rips off your costume. And exposes you as Travis Equinox, or as Travis, Travis came to the world and tells you to fuck off before he changes his mind about killing you. Because he's got bigger things to do. Because I think, I think at that point he was just, <laughs> he wasn't in his undies. <laughs> okay. But I think, I think he definitely basically brushed you off and said um and basically had the whole scar moment of run away and do not come back if i see you i will kill you you are lucky that i'm busy taking over city hall right now be thankful that your entourage has arrived the encore is here and i think that's basically kind of that's like basically the spiel he gave you like for sure yeah Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Equinox, no more. Goodbye. Last but not least. Hi, Iza. Hi. Hi, Iza. <laughs> Hello. Astra Calypso. 
Yeah. Who or what have you, or sorry, what have you been doing during the city's destruction? Oh, I got a little excited there. <laughs> got, got a little, little excited there. Little. I jumped, <laughs> jumped the gun a little. Uh, I think what she's been doing, since she's such a powerhouse, she's been not engaging directly with, like, Encore, of course, because that's too reckless even for her reckless ass. She's oh. been taking care of, like, any other smaller villains that, like, are taking this as an opportunity. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's what she's been doing. Pummeling villains in the alleys, looking like they're raiding places. That's exactly what she's been doing. Yeah, and I think, I think, I think you kind of have been alongside a couple of other small heroes, like, um, as well as some of your friends, just occasionally taking down the supervillain that thinks that this is the perfect opportunity to join along with Encore. Um, yeah. And I'll tell you what, it's not. Any villain that has offered themselves to join Encore has been killed. Encore Ooh. does not take does not take that for a question at all. He will simply not have it. He does not want anybody else taking his victory from him. And thus, I think a couple of the villains that you have tried to put away, like you've made the effort to go, okay, we're gonna go after this villain, they have already been taken care of permanently. Damn. Yeah, he's qu he's quick. He gets <laughs> he gets shit done, for sure, for sure. It's, he's not, you know, it's not great, but you know. <laughs> but I think people of the city are very grateful for the efforts you've put in even though the people that you stand with are disappearing slowly one by one yay alrighty then Time for the exciting question. This is the best part. <laughs> Who or what have you lost? I'm gonna say, I was thinking about this while you're doing it. Uh, I'm gonna say her her house, her childhood home. Uh, the place where like it all started, where she made her first like costume to cater to her destructive powers um and like that house probably had a lot of shit to help with like repairs and stuff because if you didn't know her parents are well nasa adjacent to like what halcyon has for that oh for sure like, they work for them and so having that gone that place that she grew up with the place where it all kind of started that's a little sad. Yeah. I think so. I think I think in that same suburban neighborhood, we see we see the destruction of that childhood home ripped from its hinges and bolts straight into the dirt. I think it has been mercilessly wiped just like every other building in the neighborhood. Thing. alongside your friend Patrick who I think is probably a good explanation as to vaguely how you guys kind of all started working together L plus ratio plus also homeless <laughs> for sure wow wow <laughs> there is one more thing that I Astro, let's go! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> There's one more thing that I would like to tell you guys. I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the game. The roll 20 has a special roll. Oh. Um, oh. I'm gonna show it off at the end of the game, so please don't draw dicks on it again. I'm just letting- it's just- I see- I know you- I saw somebody draw a dick earlier, so I erased it, but <laughs> you guys are free to draw on it. I will show it off at the end of the game. For sure, nope. don't draw no. dicks. No, nope. people. Make okay. it gotcha. at the very. You can you make it suggestive. Word. I. What are you drawing? Oh, you can make. Uh, <laughs> don't draw tits either. Don't make it suggestive. Oh my god! Look at. <laughs> are you, is he drawing what I think he's drawing? That was, that was strong. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, come on, come on, come on. Also, thank you, Linus Jones and Cad. Appreciate you so much. 
we stop drawing dicks and tits. That is not a dick, actually. That is the I'm, opposite of a okay, dick. Okay, okay, well... I'm keeping my, my dicks, balls, and tits <laughs> off of the roll 20. Please! <laughs> Look, I'm gonna... Okay, before we continue, I'm gonna show people at the end of the game, it needs to be Twitch safe. Okay. Please, make it Twitch safe. That is all I ask. You, it's literally not Twitch safe. You have one rule, okay? Is Among Us Twitch safe? Yes, Among Us is Twitch safe. Are we sure? Yes, we I sure? am sure. <laughs> 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 oh, thank you so much for the 15 bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty, okay, we're gonna get, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep going. You might want a new roll 20 board, Kate. <laughs> oh, I am Okay, I'm getting a new rule. <laughs> I'm just wrote Jackie you <laughs> Okay, guys, stop. Okay, okay. Okay, well, we'll be, we gotta be good. Well, yeah, you are for right, sure. Bro. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I can can I trust you guys? Sure. Yes. yes. I'm pinky. I'm promise. Can I? Can I? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Okay. Lead. Okay. I need to continue. Also, water time, guys. If you have a drink, please get one. Please take Already? a little sippy. I have apple juice. juice. Hammer. Take a little sippy. Little apple juice. Little sippy. Little sippy. Little sippy. Little sippy. Little sippy. Stop! I'm a mirror. Go get water. Hold on. Drawing. Uh. Okay. Okay, guys. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're getting a little off track. Okay. So. Let's switch up the music. Get right to it. Get right. No! <laughs> Who wrote that? Who wrote that? <laughs> <laughs> Is that allowed? Is that allowed? He says. I know exactly what song I want to play right now. Before we get into the intense stuff. I will go grab some water. Go grab some water. I also, uh, I also followed the advice of. Wizdler. Oh, for sure. Yes. You're so right. You may draw ducks. What's time? And stretch. Oh, damn. Hold on. Stretch. Stretch break. Ah. My one personality trait is dick and balls. You, you can't take that from me. <laughs> Free Thank speech you. in America. I am taking that from you. Um. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm done. I'll stop fucking all right, around. Alright, 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 alright. Thank you. Thank you. What? Have we done influence? Um. Was I supposed to do influence? That's fine. No, well, okay. not you. Well. I technically don't have any influence. You don't have influence. Or I, I don't give out influence. We, um, if you guys want to do that in the tech server, in just spy be like Gabagoo, uh, yeah. why don't you guys do that? I've so. returned. Hello, we're starting. Okay. We're gonna start... I think we'll actually start with Astra. Oh, dear. During the destruction of the oh, city, you, you've you talked about how you are constantly out kind of defending the... defending the general populace and kind of, like, uh, taking down smaller villains that pose some sort of threat. And I think you are just finishing up. Um, I think you have just defeated, ooh, I'm gonna be mean. Uh, uh I think you have just defeated, um, a villain known as Leech. Wait a second. Wait a sec, for sure. <laughs> this is the only thing I can think of. I think you've defeated a villain known as Leech. Um, who has the ability to, um, who has the ability to, um, 
take people's powers away, and he kind of leeches their powers from them. Um, kind of this, um, I would say, like, mid-20s, um, kind of, like, stark white hair, um, kind of, like, this, like, orange and, uh, white kind of suit. And I think, I think you saw him trying to siphon power from some of the other heroes, um, and you stepped in to defend. Hmm. And I think this is just right after you've defeated him. That you've defeated this villain. What do you think you're doing right now? Uh... She would normally maybe, like, <laughs> clean up a little. But, like, seeing as everything else is basically destroyed, there's really no need. There's no cleanup work. There's, there's really there's no nothing to clean up. <laughs> The city's yeah. kind of in ruins, and there's really nothing to clean up. Yep. So, she's probably checking if there's, like, either on a phone or, like, a sort of radio to see if there's, like, you know, on to the next. Or on to the next. Yeah, are you keeping up with, like, Encore's movements? Yeah. Yeah. She definitely is. Just to make sure she doesn't actually, uh, like, accidentally, like, stumble straight into his path. <laughs> oh, for sure. Um, do you have family that's in the city? Still? Yes, she does. Where's your family uh, staying? They're probably in an outskirts place somewhere, because, again, they, her parents work for NASA, and she has- That's true. They have, like, access to probably some sort of, like, secret joint, and- she has a brother and two older sisters. Uh, and they're probably stationed over there. They probably begged Astra not to stay, but, you know, it's in vain, because Astra's, of course, gonna for sure. fight for the greater good. I think so. I think... I think you get a notification on your kind of like it's like your safety app that you're like the kind of like encore like notification um about encore's movements he has just left city hall um and is heading towards the west end of the city which is kind of it's kind of like um opposite the industrial district it's kind of like more along the um i would say like closer to suburban but not it's like more the town like it's not the city part the city part's pretty much almost all destroyed more of like the town's outskirts uh just kind of those occasional office buildings the more houses um kind of truck stops and things like that, but I think there is one thing in that area that you clock is not good. A building that has not been destroyed. I think it's one of the old care centers where people are hiding out. Oh. And I think you see it on the map. Like, they have, like, a map display, and he, if you, you kind of, like, zoom out a little, and it's a beeline. It's a straight beeline. There are maybe hundreds of people in that care center. And you clock. That's where he's going. It must be. By some miracle, he might pass right over. But luck is always on his side. How could he not? He's probably gonna tell as many people that are like for sure on her side um like not not the people inside the center maybe like whoever is running it because you know you don't want to cause a mass panic yeah how do you do that uh probably due to all this the heroes have to have like contact with the care centers. Yeah, they have end with the with their kind of like hideouts and things like that. Yeah. yeah. I think I think you make the call. Um and I think that's when we cut to Patrick. 
as Patrick, as as you are, I think you're stopping by the care center. I think I think that's where you're stationed right now. Just kind of like they're kind of like helping people give out food. Um, do you think any of the other players are here as well? Um, that is probably a question for the other players. I mean, if um. I had a say in it, maybe uh, either Beatrice or Dusty, because I don't think Dusty's got anywhere to be, and Beatrice uh, would probably be around. What do either of you say to that? I'd say if there's nothing like uh, super urgent going on within the city right now, Dusty is probably with um, with Patrick. And you know, it's a good place to get food. Uh, it's probably one of the only places to get food. And if your rip generator's not working, food is probably not an easy uh, commodity to come by in, in this day. Mm. For sure. Yeah. Then um, you're and... with me. Yeah. Brain? Yeah, I think she would be around. I think as you guys are maybe passing out food, maybe, Dusty, you're just, like, snacking on some, uh, like, trail mix. Um, or, you know what, like, spray cheese or something like that. I don't know. That's, like, kind of weirdly right. specific. I don't know. Damn right! Damn right, for sure. <laughs> um, Patrick, you are approached by the owner of the, of, like, the, kind of, like, the person in charge. Um, this woman, her hair is kind of, like, in this tight bun with maybe a couple hair strands like just barely peeking out uh a retired uh veteran who kind of has stepped back up to the plate um to keep everybody in line and i think i think it's kind of easy to clock like at least at least she probably knows like your hero persona i think mm. since you're kind of very obviously not okay with sitting on the sidelines i think it's just easy to clock yeah. at least from her perspective at least by her because you know she's kind of she's a fighter too you know she recognizes yeah. at a this point in time patrick's them. probably quite vocal about it anyway so yeah i think she approaches you and she goes patrick may i please speak to you immediately um sure I, is something the matter? Yes. Was it the, was it the stew? <laughs> no. Your stew was just fine. Okay, good. I, I'm glad that cost me like two pots. Pulls you over to the side, and she kind of puts her hand on her shoulder and goes, Patrick, I don't want to ask anything of you, but it has come to this, and I am very sorry. I should not have to ask a child to help defend. I have just received word by a fellow hero that Encore is on his way here now as we speak. And we'll be here within the next probably half hour or less. I don't want to make everybody worry, but I would like to ask for one favor. If you could step up and defend. 30 minutes, that's all I need. Thank you. I've been waiting for this. Yeah, don't worry about it. Thank you for your service. And I think I, I think she will salute you. Because I think you both know that... I mean, well, you're kind of pretty powerful. But, you know, it's... I think this is a very grim situation. I think there is a moment where she just salutes you. Before she walks around. And begins to let the rest of the care center know. Um, just kind of letting parents know, kind of like, um, letting parents know, having them grab things, um, kind of like everybody's starting to pack things. And I think, um, I think Patrick, you have a moment with Beatrice and Dusty, if you want to let them know. Yeah, I would definitely give them both a tap and kind of beckon. I, he kind of keeps his hands in his pockets whenever he, uh. 
whenever he does stuff. I think both of you know that it's because that he can't really control his power. Hey. So, what's going on? Is everyone... He, like, kind of, like, motions to everybody, like... Because he can kind of see people starting to, like, pack their stuff up. He's like, is everything all right? What What's going on? Yeah, um... So... I just talked to... What was her name? Um, her name is... Her name is, uh, um, I have it here in my notes. It is Miranda Rondo. Yeah. Or a, a Lieutenant Rondo. Got it. I was just talking to Lieutenant Rondo. Um, Alcor is on his way here. Right now, on encore is thirty minutes. That's what she gave me. Christ. I was asked to stay. I I think you two should probably book it. Like hell, we're doing that, bro. Not a chance. You don't have to. Like, you've seen what's happened. I also don't have to leave you here alone. That's... I'll be fine. It'll be strong. We all know that's a lie. Okay. Okay. That's. I have a sense that I can't win this fight. <laughs> Not with Encore. I can totally do that. I mean, with you two. Not just us two. Has anyone heard from. Travis or Astra. I mean, not really. No, I don't think. All right. God. Hello. That is me. I'm God. Yeah. I see you. Do the phone still work? Um. Yeah. Get service. I mean, okay. you know, I mean, they're working hard to provide service in a war-torn city, but you can get some. It's bad, but you can get some. No Radio works. Luck, fame, Radio works now. great, though. Radio is bussin', for sure, for sure. No amount of luck, fate, or reality manipulation can stop the 5G towers. You're so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wanna... Verizon. Verizon. Yes. The phone companies, Verizon and for, oh, A B and A B and C, C. <laughs> and <laughs> and Sprint. Okay. <laughs> Sprint. The five G's of the apocalypse. Schmoogle. Schmoogle. A big fan of Schmoogle. But yes, you may call whoever you would like to. I'll, um, I'll probably call them both. I'm gonna ring up Astra first. FaceTime the group chat. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, it FaceTimes so the right. Snapchat. Just FaceTime the Snapchat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she... If you're calling Astra first, uh, she does... She does pick up. She probably just got done, like, with the other villain, or some other villain. And she's probably on her way now, since she knows that um, he's on his way over there. And she's like, 
Hey, what's up? I know. I was the one who gave the tip. I'm on my way. Oh. Okay. Yep. Okay. <laughs> See you soon. See ya. Love you. Mwah. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Patrick winces over <laughs> the noise. <laughs> I don't know if you guys just heard, but Gamer Rick came a knocking. Oh boy, no. Gamer, Rick. Gamer Rick! I had to send him away. Damn. King shit. King shit. Um, and I'll call um Travis. Hey. Uh, hey, where are you? Um, around. Why? Can you get to the care center in half an hour or less? Yeah, why? His encore is on his way. Oh. Um. You don't have to, but I... Is everybody else gonna be there? She looks up from the phone over at Dusty and Patrick. I, I, I'm not going anywhere else. Everybody else is getting evacuated, I think. It'll be just us. And you're under no obligation, but... You know. uh, fine, I'm coming, I'm coming. Tell Travis if he doesn't help us fight, he's boring, still. I'm not fucking boring, Dusty! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there in five. Yeah, you better. You know, I'd be okay. here in four, Travis. <laughs> you bitch! I hang up. Like I think I think you start to hear like Travis go, oh you just and, like it just you just hang up before Travis can even get in his argument, giving him further motivation to go arrive here as soon as possible. But you know we all know Travis. He may teleport, but he's always running late. They always running He's late. He's always running late. Start of season one and season four, running late. I'm so, I, I, you, you made me late. Uh, but it's funny, so you're late. I can assign you late. Travis actually oh. shows up at six minutes instead of five. I think... <laughs> 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 I, think if, I think if you will let me, I would like... You can say no. Would you like to be late? <laughs> no. Okay, you arrive on I time. Want... You arrive. I think it's it fucking looks over at Dusty. Fuck you, dude. He's you got his he's, he's got his watch pulled up. He's got his watch pulled up, and he's like, very close to being late there, Mister Mister Kane. <laughs> also, one moment. Uh, Gamer Rick is once again knocking, and I cannot stop him anymore. I must go address him. You may keep. You may keep RPing. Just one moment. Is is Astra here, or is Astra like on her way? She still? probably. She probably comes at the same time that Travis does. Oh, so so I'm late, but Astra isn't. So yeah. I'm late, but Astra isn't. We didn't give Astra. Astra was to be here. already on her way. Okay. Astra was. <laughs> yeah, she was referring to yourself in the third person. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am, I... I am the knight. Don't. <laughs> you just call yourself the fucking knight. Are you kidding me? <laughs> does, he, does he like grimaces? He's like, you did not just say that. Oh, yes, I did. Maybe I'm a little late, but at least I didn't. I don't say shit like that. Oh, uh, but you say other cringy shit, bro. Don't even. What the fuck do I say? <laughs> Give me aren't one you, example. Aren't you the one that's like supposed to grow up and be super dark and brooding? <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, <Dusty>, that's mean. <laughs> I was just fucking laughing at that. It's like, nice one. <laughs> Anyways, he's like he's like crying through he's like crying through laughter and he's like I'm sorry I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. You did good. All right, you guys. We still have like 25 minutes. Let's go. 25 whole minutes to figure out what the fuck we're gonna do when when Encore shows up. Yeah. So that's plenty. Yeah. That's not. Yeah. No. That's fine. I've been waiting for those. <laughs> Am I? Nope. Who died? Oh no! Who is it? Who is it? It's it's Travis. Travis is gone. Travis. Oh, Ow. Travis is back. Welcome back. 
I'm good that you disappear from the screen as well. <laughs> I know. It's like, and there I go. <laughs> Guys, can we can we talk about that? How my PNG tuber is the only one who has visible eyes. I I noticed that right. earlier. <laughs> Seems that we have a type. Listen, I was kinescite glasses. I didn't ask for it. It was yeah. kinescite to me. <laughs> Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Spooky just full on went like crazy with mine. I didn't, I, he like showed it to me one day. He was like, this is your PNG tuber. I was like, whoa, cool. <laughs> I had no input, but I really enjoy this. Did you guys see, did you guys see what I, I wanted? What I wanted Welcome him to back. put on my shirt? Hello. Uh, oh, I think I did. I, I wanted him to word. No, I wanted, I wanted oh, to dang. say, I'm not gay, but my boyfriend is. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. 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 I'm a classy man. For sure. Alrighty. Any, anyways, we made fun of Travis for being Batman. I'm grabbing a ladle, by the way. A what? A ladle. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm yes, going. right, okay. I know what you're doing. What? I'm, I'm grabbing a ladle and I shake it off. I shake the stew off it and I start twirling it around. Astra, you, I think, also arrive probably within maybe 15 minutes before Encore arrives. Oh, damn. Wow, I was late. Never mind. I yeah, lied. You were late. Late. <laughs> hey, we hey. didn't give we didn't give Astra a time frame. We did not. Give yeah, we only gave frame. we only gave Travis a time frame. I mean, Astra can be late. You know, she's, you know, she can like oh. run and can you fly? I I can use my um cosmic energies to kind of boost me. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Technically not flying. Technically but just see, exploding but through the air. Travis is held to a different standard because that fucker can teleport. So it's like just weird when he's late, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's weird that it took you a whole five minutes, bro. You could have just teleported here. <laughs> he, had hair. Hair. <laughs> he had to brush his hair. He had to brush his hair. Prep his equinox <laughs> voice. Yo, on a scale from hell. one to ten. On a scale of 1 to 10, how greasy do you think Travis's hair is? Be honest. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> y'all are, so, are just bullying me now. Sorry, I'm this sorry, is, nothing. This is just bullying. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't mean it like that. No, you do mean it like that, but it's funny. <laughs> oh, shit. It's just satire. <laughs> it's just satire. <laughs> Bro, why are we kissing? Dude, it's just satire. Satire, it's just satire. I forgot to set my playbook to the bowl. I just filled it out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I forgot that I have extra I forgot that I have moves. Oh my god. <laughs> like I had I put in the bull moves. I didn't put in the bull's heart moves. Tough. But I think you kind of all arrive, and there is this uh, kind of air of silence that kind of fills as you kind of recognize that this might be your last time together. As you continuously Astra check the sheet over and over again, and Encore is not straying from course. You watch as people are tweeting about it. Uh, it's going, it's kind of like people are just, um, it's everywhere still. OMG, just spotted Encore. Where's he going? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Um, Encore spotted in this region. Moving to the Park Province. It's all over. As he draws nearer and nearer. Where are you guys going to set up? That's a great fucking question. <laughs> I mean, I'll probably take the roof. 
because I can fly. So it's kind of like an easy, like I can spot him when he's coming and call down to you. That is I can hip hop a little bit. So I might take a stance, if not on the roof, then on some kind of. I miss Rain. <laughs> so sad. Miss Rain. Run that bias one more time. I, I think Dusty uh, will probably be hidden away somewhere, like in the shadows. Cool, cool, cool. Very nice. She's got the legs, so I she can kind of hop a little bit. So if not on the roof, then on some kind of not ground floor platform, just to get a little bit of a shot of the battlefield. Where are you going to be, Astra? Because I think I'm taking spot between you and Dusty. Uh, I'll probably, since everybody's kind of going up, I think I'm going to stay on the ground level near near the front-ish. I don't think I'm outside. I think I'm, like, behind the door. Alright, alright. And then I'm in the main area. Is anybody helping with evacuation? Yes. Alrighty. It draws closer and closer and closer. The entity reaches further and further. You can hear the destruction from miles away. Buildings slowly falling over, rubble being sent everywhere, and dust clouding the air barely breathable as Encore draws closer and closer and closer still. Travis. Oh, yeah. Oh, what were you going to say? Oh, I was, you can go first. I was just about to ask if I could see him. At this I was about point. to say, I think you spot him first. Can I try and make it a distance, like, pot shot at him? Oh, yeah, sure. But... Uh, let me describe him for our audience, because some audience members may not just- may just be listening in. This entity... almost glides on the air... as he... travels forth towards the care center. This jester like figure um not jester not homie jester or jester J jester hey i know that guy no yeah. way i love jester <laughs> um this kind of like almost impish gesture um with kind of these uh these almost like three um like almost like prongs that mirror that of a jester's hat that kind of protrude from his head. Uh, this diamond-like shape, uh, a tear going up and one going down, almost mimicking that comedy tragedy um, look in his eyes. Um, kind of this like spectralness that coats his form. It's hard to tell um, if he is all one solid form or if he is in some sort of disguise. He looks so real, though. Um, the black ichor that that trails as his feet hit the floor. Um, the kind of, like, intangible nature of his being that draws close. Um, he's got the- his- he kind of has this long uh, tailcoat with, like, four kind of, um, like, puffs at the end of it. Like, those, like, bell, like- things that kind of like jingle he's got um, what appear to be these like murky bells on his feet as well um that kind of like blend into his upper costume and these red strings of fate that hang off of every finger I'm loving the prediction, by the way. 
For sure, for sure. Pretty sure I'm the only one that bet in our favor. I only put 10 points in, so hey, free food. Like 500 points into, uh, against us. <laughs> against us. Good job. Yeah. You'll yeah. get maybe two Fair. of the points. Fair. Oops. I. That might have been me. What? How did I do that? Manage. Choose prediction outcome. Well, don't do that yet. No. Yeah, Who we knows? Didn't. We haven't even started. We the haven't been yet. stomped yet. We yeah. haven't lost yet. <laughs> but you know, I might as well hand out points preemptively. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> like I already know what's gonna happen. Yeah, for sure. Alrighty then. But yeah. Um, I would like to take a pot shot at him. All right. Roll to directly engage a threat. Hey. Nice. Fuck you, Encore. Ooh. Yeah. Um, Big swings. Yeah. He's swinging. You rolled in the roll 20. I I put the mask rules here. I'll... I we have to roll in mask rules. Um... Oh. Yes, but not for the reason you think. Where the... Where's and, well, can I, can I still count my 10? Because I rolled a 10, yeah, and yeah, then I will course. roll in here last next time. I rolled a... Ten. Oh, there we okay. go. We can see the now. Chat. Now, now the chat. We can see the stickers. <laughs> there. <laughs> I want to make the chat have a background really quick. I used to. I think I have. Um, but yeah, I would like to. Uh... I have to pull up my little help, my cheat sheet. Um, I would like to. Resist and avoid their blows, and um. Hmm. Resist and avoid. Okay, okay, okay. And I want to like, I want to throw him off. Like, I assume I, I guess impress, surprise, or frighten, because I assume he wasn't expecting any. Opposition attacking a care center. So I assume that suddenly getting fucking domed by, um, I'm gonna say it was like an arrow made of fire because that's cool and I can do that. I assume getting hit by an arrow made of fire out of nowhere would Absolutely. probably throw him off. Oh, just a second. Absolutely. Where do you think he gets hit? Shoulder. I'll let you aim higher. Right between the eyes. <laughs> right. Thank you, Katie. We... Oh, God. We watch this fireish arrow blaze forward as it strikes him right between the diamond. His head furls back before it suddenly snaps. He reaches his two fingers up, and his whole head, like, separates, almost like goo, as he pulls the arrow out and just whoosh, blows it out like a candle. The arrow is not, uh, it's not like a, like, it's an arrow completely made of fire, right? Yeah. Yeah, he literally holds it by the fire, like, literally takes it out, and once he whoosh, blows it out, it just vanishes into ash. His head kind of snaps back to. And he looks over at you. Even from hundreds of feet away, he spots you. In an instant, he flies right up to you. And literally, literally, like, almost like, uh... Um, almost like teleports, like, right in front of you. But he's just moving that fast. He speeds right in front of you. And he goes, Oh, hello! Didn't I tell you to stay away? Yeah, well, you should have known by um, who you just fought that I have a tendency not to listen. Aww. So, What a shame. I am going to enjoy plucking your eyes from your skull. Uh, 
You need therapy. <laughs> like, probably more than I do. Oh, my And I really need something? therapy. <laughs> Yeah, no, I really yes. need therapy, and uh, you need it more than I do. Oh. Where do you think I can get some? He points to the care center. Down there. No, actually, all the nurses flood in terror, but I can- I, You know what? Let me help you out. My school counselor, she's technically also a therapist. He grabs really you by the lady. throat. He grabs what? you by the throat, like, mid-sentence. And as he grabs you by the throat, he kind of, like, hoists you up, takes a finger, and he- I think he brushes a hair out of your face. He goes, It really is a shame what happened to, I don't know, you? Your future self, I guess? What a shame. Do you think it'd be funny if I destroyed the timeline by destroying you as well? I think it'd be Well, if you destroy the timeline, that would mean you'd also destroy yourself, so you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot with that one. No, no, I don't think so. I appreciate the concern, though. And he's going to try to uh, stab you, take a powerful blow. He's going to take his hand and try to basically what stab you. Can I roll to defend? Can I defend? Yeah. Am I still? Old? I will let you defend. Who? Which of us? Uh, I think I, I think Brandon said it first. Give me, give me. All right. Um, let me make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. I have a really bad savior. For anybody in chat, there's a poll if you would like to vote. Really bad savior, but I'm gonna try. What the fuck? Oh, it's 50-50. Got it. Is this not it? I don't think that's it. What are the commands, man? Um... Work. Is it slash roll? No. Oh. Um, should be exclamation mark roll, but you have you might have to do slash and then click on dice maiden. Yeah, I think you have to slash. You have to click on dice maiden because they don't, don't do... have permission to use any commands from dice maiden. What? That's so sad. Permit me. <clears throat> Permit us. You have us, the maiden. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello? Uh, permissions. How do I make it so you can use... It says you can use application commands. I do not know. We can just type the rules that we get on the roll 20 in the Yeah, you know what? Chat. Sure. Sure. All right. Seven. All righty. I am going to. Here, I've got an idea. Because I have the roll 20 up. So what I can do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's hot. <laughs> What's hot? The, oh, yeah. Uh, the art you guys have been doing. You liking my buff among us? Somebody asked. I gotta deliver. <laughs> Let's make him sweat. Do that. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I've, I've, I've collected myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. You're done? Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Let's move you guys up a little. And then let's do transform center horizontally and let's hide that. There you go. 
Fantastic. Yeah, so I rolled a seven. I think... I would like to... What do you think? What do you think, uh, Travis, now or later? Um... What, what, what does that mean? <laughs> do, do I take something that'll be good now, or do I take something that'll be good later? Do later, because okay, we're then. just barely starting. I am going to... Well, taking it now would have been influence over you. I'm going to use my move. Uh, and instead of taking a... Instead of picking an option from the defend list, I'm going to hold one. Alrighty. Um, and I will escalate the situation. I don't remember if I have a say in that, but we just got here. Yeah, that works. Alrighty then. What does this look like? I think, um, that ladle that he was spinning, uh, kind of, uh, has, it, it kind of spins like a boomerang through the air. And I think when it makes connection to his side, I think it almost comically folds him over. Absolutely. As he is struck by this seemingly, seemingly innocent household object, suddenly warped by the machinations of your abilities, causing him to drop a Travis uh, and literally his whole body folds. Um, like, um, if you've ever seen a bridge, like, a, like, I mean, you've probably seen a bridge, but I mean, like, it, it folds like, um, like the gymnastic move a bridge, where it's like his whole spine bends over in a way that it shouldn't. Uh, as he falls to the ground, kind of rolls. And as he rolls, he kind of lands on his stomach, and I think he props his head up with his elbow, like, on the ground, and kind of, like, waves his feet like he's a girl at a slumber party, and just goes, Oh, how cute! You brought your friends! Isn't that so neat? Yeah, I think Patrick kind of gives him a... <laughs> kind of whistles at him, and then when he gets his attention, he goes, Yeah, hands off the fucking merchandise, man. Merchandise? You shouldn't have. Ugh. Oh. Only for you. He kind of <laughs> holds his hands out. <laughs> and then I think he he kicks his foot up and grabs a, a pipe that was on the ground or something. <laughs> it's just that yeah. It's that, but it's the it's his spine bends the other way. So it go instead of going forward, it goes backward. Like unnaturally so. Like it, it I think it's very clear his body is whatever the fuck it's doing, it's not natural. Alrighty then. Uh, but he kind of, he kind of like, like, kind of, uh, as you kind of, um, as he gets folded over, he puts his hands on his, he holds his head up with his, um, with his hands and his elbows on the ground. He just goes, oh, hello. How nice of you to defend your friend. Such a shame. As he pushes himself up and goes. Such a shame that you chose not to escape. Wasn't much of a choice with the bridges down now, was it? Besides, I have to repay you for everything you've taken. Oh! How kind of you! Well, before I put your head on a pike, why don't you show me what you've got? I have a lot to give. He starts spinning the pipe in his hand. Hey, yo! And that is where we are going to enter combat! Let's... Oh, and that's where we're going to end tonight's session. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I thought you were going to say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I 
end session every single time. I go, and that is where we're gonna end tonight. <laughs> I thought you were, I was like, wow. Uh, wow, short, short game. game. <laughs> no way, Encore literally ended the game. He was so done with you guys, he just ended the fucking game. Yeah, that was actually the end of the session. This point onward is the encore. That is, that's the punchline. That's what we're all here for. <laughs> okay, that's actually really funny though. <laughs> so stupid. Well, let's let's give the people an encore then, shall we? We we. Alrighty, who here is the team leader? Huh? I kind of want. I'm leaning towards Patrick in this moment. I think you kind of took charge. Because even though Travis was the one who spotted him and the one who started getting his shit kicked in first, I think you taking that immediate defense, that immediate defensive stance, kind of, um... You kind of made your position known and kind of, like, stood in the line of defense. And I think that's... Mm -hmm. I think that counts for something. I would subscribe to that notion. I'm cool with that. To that. I'm so subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> I have influence over one person. <laughs> if only Encore could break the fourth wall, he would be smooching you guys for sure, for sure. Weird. I'm referring to the <laughs> Twitch chat, not you guys. Oh, Damn. oh rats. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, for sure. Um, Please, bye. I'm begging you to put the gift that you sent me in a <laughs> chat somewhere. <laughs> okay. Put it where? Wait, I need, I need to find it. Find it's encore. <laughs> Except he is Bobo the Fool who will kill you. Alright, so I, I think Patrick, I think you have the lead in this. But I don't think you have influence over everybody. I definitely don't. Yeah, yeah, there is somebody who's missing it, so it's a little, you know. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's, there's someone and someone else and yeah, someone else. Yeah, there's a couple <laughs> of people. Yeah, that's like, I don't know, that's like more than half the party. That's like. It is more than half the party. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um. So then, yeah, let's let's. You're the team leader, so I automatically add. Uh, two to the team pool at the start of a fight. You guys start the game with one, so that's three in the team pool. You do not have influence, and I need to ask, before I add another, what is everybody's purpose in the fight? Survive. Beat Encore. <laughs> yeah, that, that was, that was kind of going tandem. Yeah. Survive and beating Encore, like, I think are the same. In my opinion, like, Normally, I would say not, because survival and defeat are two different things, but in this case, I think it's very evident that it is the same fucking thing. Yeah. Does anybody... I say not die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Does any uh, team member mistrust the leader? Does anybody, like, mistrust his, like, Patrick guy? He's just kind of weird, and, like, the fact that he's only bringing kitchen utensils, that's kind of weird, champ, you know? <laughs> hey, I have I have a construction equipment now. Oh, that's right, for sure. I'm loving these polls, by the way. Oh my fucking god, these are so good. We're having so much fun, Bestie. We're having so <laughs> much fun. Thank you, Hannah, my beloved. <laughs> Team Graver, you're wrong. <laughs> Alrighty. Um... I think then that would give you guys, let's see, that's that's four in the team pool. You have not removed one yet. Um, does anybody feel unbalanced or unprepared for this? Yeah. Yeah. You do feel unbalanced? Actually, I take that back. I'm quite ready for this. <laughs> I was about to say, I feel like Patrick's ready, but does anybody else feel like they're not prepared? I guess I should ask you. Are you prepared to die? Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. No. 
Okay, well She's... then I'll remove one for the team pool. Now Sorry. you can You're now Patrick, oh, you can mark fair. a condition to keep that fourth team pool. Honestly, three is a pretty solid number. I think... I'm a little hesitant to take uh, conditions so, so freely. Yeah. <laughs> four actually. Oh, is it four? It is because I have a move. Oh, oh okay. what's your move? Why don't you read it for the table? Support class main. When you enter battle as a team, if the leader has influence over you, add one team to the pool. Mm. Oh, uh, that's fancy! Damn, the heart and the protege must pop off together. <laughs> <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is four in the team pool. Let's get started, shall we? I gotta... I'm gonna put on my... Uh... I'm gonna put on my cool battle music. Combat oh, two. Boy. Yeah, t combat's about to get turned up for real. I've just been playing uh, Oregon Oregon Trail, oh. <laughs> the zombie uh, zombie version. Also, isn't it so weird that I'm playing music in? Uh, that song was called Promise Me You Won't Die. Cool fact. Ooh. Oh my sure gosh. Ooh. Hello, Leopard Dead 2. As Encore stands up, and all of you kind of immediately jump up and kind of, like, move into positions, there's this soft smile that starts on his face that slowly grows malicious with intent as he smiles. This big, toothy grin with jagged teeth and goop dripping off his form. Oh, how sweet. Well, just think of how wonderful it'll be for you all to die together. As he kind of, he opens up his two hands and red strings tie themselves around his fingers, his fingers bouncing up and down before he pulls them all together and smiles. He looks at all of you and simply says, on guard. All right, who's up first? Yeah. Me and Travis just won, so why don't one of you three? So I think you should, you should, you should hit him. Yeah, you should. <laughs> you, should, you, should you should go all nuke explosion on him. You think I yeah. should? Yeah, I think Isa, I, yeah. yeah, Isa, why don't you start I'll strong? The, I'll call the pussy, let's go. Okay. Isa, start down. us off strong. Yeah. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm you... gonna get some layers. Burn? Yeah. Question uh, mark? Yeah, you're yeah. gonna get some. You're gonna get some burn. <laughs> layers? Burns? Question mark? Uh, let's do this. Oh, uh, in the roll twenty or? Yeah. Uh, ye yes. Okay. Because I was like confused. I was like, yeah, do the roll twenty because I've set it up now. All right. Bam. Yeah. I didn't say no whammy. Oh, okay. That's close enough. Mark and condition. <laughs> I'm gonna be so afraid. <laughs> He's so afraid right now. <laughs> but you know what? We're gonna go through it. Uh, I'm gonna... It is okay to be afraid at your impending doom. <laughs> Just a little. So I hold three. All right. Uh, but you also mark a condition, I think. Yeah, I'm afraid. All righty. Uh, and I'm feeling nice, I'll let you go. Cause I know that Whee! it's 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 boring as the Nova to like burn and then wait a turn. <laughs> Alright, sit down and wait. Alright, uh, you char you're charged? Okay, sit down. I <laughs> literally that <laughs> Okay, so she's gonna bust through those doors. And I think I am going to Yeah, 
Like, we're gonna, you know what? I'm gonna go with a bang. Let's do some reality storm right now. <laughs> Spend one to directly engage, but roll freak instead of danger. Alrighty. So let me. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> let me first ask do we want unwanted collateral damage, guys? I we don't mean... have a choice, do we? Can I just go as insane as possible? I uh, mean this in the nicest way possible. There's not much to destroy. All right, then we're not going to spend that extra. We're just going to use one. And let me roll my three. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. <laughs> no whammy. <laughs> you were hyped. <laughs> that was exciting. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> so she's gonna bust through those doors and just this yellowish orange, like it's not exactly flame, it's not exactly like an aura, but it looks hot. And, like, with red speckles around. And she... He's on the roof, right? Mm-hmm. She's gonna... Rocket boot... With a fist... Uh, like, ready to punch him in the fucking face. And this fist is covered with that... Yellow, orange, and red speckle, like, power. And she's gonna... Punch the shit out of him. You. Alrighty then. Um, what two options are you picking again? Um, do, 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 do. let me look. I'm going to choose. If you do not pick resist and avoid, he well... will. Kill me. <laughs> uh, he will get an attack against you. Yeah, but and I'm keep in course. mind, keep in mind, uh, we are doing death boxes. Yeah, <laughs> he is no. trying to kill you. I am going to resist and avoid, and I think I'm also going to impress, surprise, or frighten. I've never done that one before. Yeah, how do you think you're going <laughs> to impress, surprise, or frighten him? I feel like I just came out of nowhere. So I feel like that is like surprising. Am I roboting? Oh my god. I didn't know that. Hello? Hello? You sound okay to me. I sound okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I All Maybe right. it's just me. Or maybe I'm just a little guy. Maybe. I turned down the volume on my headset, so maybe like that could also be it as well. So. Yeah. I'm gonna say it's gonna surprise because I just came out of out of the care center, like busted down the doors, and <laughs> literally with it within a second I was up and punching at him. Alrighty then. This punch rings out. Um one moment. Um, this punch kind of, like, rings out, um, and I think his whole body, like, um, almost dematerializes. Um, as, as you kind of, like, ring out this blow, um, and he is kind of, like, like, flung into the wall, and you watch as he, like, strikes the wall, and it's like, it's, this is an Owl House spoiler, but it's like, it's like, it's when, uh, the Collector, like, basically flicks Bellos into the wall and Bellos, like, splats. Um, he, like, fucking splats into the wall and starts melting off before re-solidifying. And he just basically kind of, like, almost, like, brushes his, uh, like, jester hat hair-type beat to the side, whatever it is, brushes it to the side and looks at you and goes, Oh! So we've got ourselves two fighters. Cracks his knuckles, holds out his fingers, 
and he begins uh, to kind of like move his hands in almost like this wave-like shape. And as his hands move, these red strings begin to attach themselves to objects um, that suddenly start flying back and forth. Um, sharp pieces of shrapnel, um, uh, pieces of concrete, things just go flying. There is nothing safe. Um, as all of you guys just kind of begin to dodge the fire... Um, and I think the person to, um, make the next move is going to be Beatrice. Um, I, she's sat up on her little ledge. And I maybe roll to assess. Yeah, why don't I have you do that? Hey. Hey. All right, that's a nine. You may ask one question. What here can I use to create an opening for my Alex? I think... Alrighty. I think at the pace you guys are keeping, um, making it so that he's losing time having to think and reform is what's going to give him the upper hand, or is what's going to give you guys the upper hand against him. Is making it so that he has to keep reforming his body over and over again. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think as this is happening, like, you know, uh, I think we kind of watch, we kind of watch Dusty, th like, throwing, um, pieces of shrapnel, and he just keeps effortlessly, uh, dodging them in return, just very kind of easily moving in and out and weaving, uh, and kind of, like, kind of, you are watching that probability manipulation in first hand, like, him literally almost, like, Kung Fu Panda 2, like, style, catching a piece of concrete and shoving it back towards Dusty as the concrete, like, shoots towards him and shatters into the wall. Okay. Alrighty then. Travi Patty. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, now I don't want to can all go. Um, you said keeping him um, on, like, keeping him not in form will be, give you an advantage for us, correct? Say that one more time. You said that keeping him um, like, not in humanoid form will give an advantage, correct? Absolutely. And we need to, like, um, okay. Can I, like, pull him up, like, you know what? Fuck it. You know the debris that he just shattered? I want to pull it back and turn it into, like, a thousand little, like, spikes and, like, shoot them at him to kind of pierce him and make him, like, like, literally, like, like, a group of, like, rocks just coming towards him that should theoretically poof him if they all hit. Alrighty. Alrighty, roll to directly engage. Darn, somebody want to help? Help. Hep, hep. 
<laughs> I'll help. Cool. Um, and I will take his form from him. Alrighty. Roll to, uh, actually pick it. Uh, you're gonna take a form. Yeah, roll to take a powerful blow. As he, he will get an attack on you as you desolidify him. Oh. Let me help. Let me help. Let's make that an eleven. Let's go. Uh, oh. <laughs> That's my fucking luck. Oh. That is two death boxes. Two death. Shit. So this is this is the new mechanic. Oh no! Wait, no. I think that's a twelve and above. Uh, oh, let me look at our. Have? Let me look at We're our update. Gonna... Six. We have six. Okay. I'm gonna mark mine on the roll to me so that we can all see. Yeah. No, but I, I we, because we added the death box mechanic. We talked about that in general. Let me look at masks general real quick to double check. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. It's 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 Ham's it's Ham's space <laughs> opera mechanic. Um, it's the yeah. So it's the not the sex move. It's the um. Death box. Uh, I have no idea where sh where they put it. it, it uh, okay, <laughs> I'll, um, I'll just Ham. You are the expert of your death box mechanic. Um, do you have? Um, you are the expert of the death box mechanics. Do you have? Let me figure this out really quick. Also, hello. I'm I'm so glad you need you are here, but I am currently running a game, so I don't know if I can help with D D. But I'm glad you are here, but I'm not quite sure I can help. I might be able to answer a question just off the top of my head. Just based on my knowledge, but uh let me look. Where is the death box mechanic? I did there it is. Oh, you found it? Yeah. Uh, there's a six. It's twelve plus. All right, so you can only. All right, you're good. You can mark one death box. That's what I've done. And for my option, there we go. Uh, I, for my option, I'll do. I'll mark two conditions and give ground. Okay, how do you give ground? How is he attacking me? Um, I think. I think he is uh, basically using his ability to kind of throw debris and kind of like effortlessly um, slug you with basically these giant sh chunks of rock. Um, and I think, the... I think he's going to hit you with a giant, and I mean a giant fuck all piece of concrete. Cool. Um... Also, by the way, I just hit a hundred followers. Yeah. Let's go. We're gaming yeah, let's for go. sure. And also, I'm not sure. if you also need help, Slow Froggy, uh, for setting up D and D character sheets, um, D and D Beyond is what I use. <laughs> Big D and D Beyond user for sure. It's free. You can use your Twitch uh, to log in. That's how, like, I make character sheets, is I use D&D Beyond, and it sets it up so quickly, because it does all the math for you. Uh, some computers, uh, like, for example, like, if you're using, like, a school computer, might block it, uh, but D&D Beyond, it's free. Uh, and yeah, it'll only give you the basic options, though, so. But yeah, cool. I, that's cool. I mean, that, uh, that's crazy. Yeah. That's gaming, for sure. Um, yes. I think, um, could I have you explain how you give ground again real quick? I didn't explain, but- Never mind. Um, 
Um, I think he's gonna take this giant piece of concrete, um, and just effortlessly throw it at you. Um, and I think, I think, um, he's gonna break your nose. Ow. I think he's gonna break your nose. L. Okay. For sure. Um, this piece of concrete flies towards you and and kind of like at least or at least I think dislocates it if you're okay with that. Um, dislocates my nose. Yeah, you, you know, and then you have to like pop it back in. Gotcha. It's like sort of breaking your nose, but with extra steps. Mm-hmm. Um, as the concrete flies, and I think he closes the distance up to you, um, and kind of puts a finger on your forehead and pushes you back slightly and goes, Oh, do you really think you stand a chance against me? I think Travis just kind of shrugs. I can try. Try, you might. Alrighty then. Um, I think Isa, Astra, yes, tra Travis, and Travis and you, Encore are right next to each other, and if you let Encore. Um, have another moment. He is probably gonna kill Travis. What are you gonna do? Shit. I am going to... I, I, do, I think I have a... <laughs> okay, I'm... <laughs> Sorry, hold up. <laughs> okay. Sorry, me when a piece of dust enters my throat. Um, I think... I'm gonna use a flare... For a move called shielding, and it means I can call up a fast protective field to stop a danger. Spend one burn to defend somebody else from an immediate threat, rolling plus freak instead of savior. Alrighty, I'll let you roll. Alrighty, no whammy, no whammy, no. No whammies, no whammies. whammies. Alright, yeah. Does anybody want to make the a 10? Or would you like to expose yourself to retribution, danger, or cost? Anybody want to help me? <laughs> yeah, I have- I have- I was gonna go look at our team. Okay, yeah, I have- Yep. Uh, you guys should have, uh, You should have four in the team. Actually, no, you only have three we in the team pool. One. We should have three. Yeah. I I know what's coming next. I'd recommend. Yeah, no. I, I will. I have. All right. You have. Okay. All right. That's a... How, so, how do you defend and how do you help? Is Astra? Me. Oh. How do so, you defend? I have to know. Yeah. How <laughs> with <laughs> with that um that barrier. Uh. Hmm. How would you help me? That is interesting. I've got an idea. I just want you to to set the scene first. Yeah. You you set the scene. Yeah. Isa. You're good. Keep. So. Her little boost probably sent her up to the roof. She's not on the ground anymore. So she is going to kind of step forward. And that same kind of energy uh, goes from her hands as she raises, like, or tries to raise a kind of force field um, of this same color energy between um, Travis and... Encore. Alrighty.
this barrier shoots up in front of him, uh, right as he goes. Like, the moment his, like, finger lifts Travis's temple, and he kind of, like, moves his hand around to, like, create these strings, uh, your barrier blocks the strings, and they slice, uh, against the barrier and block it. And as they block the barrier, he looks shocked. Like, as the strings bounce off, he looks stunned, even. His kind of, like, jaw drops a little. Like, and he takes a step back. And looks at you. Haunted. And kind of, like, almost does this double take. Uh, what option are you taking from the defend? Uh, I'm gonna take... NBC, NBC. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, defend, 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 defend. There it is. I. Hmm. What y'all guys think? You think I should add a team to the pool? That might be. That Hold would on. be because I usually I mostly use freak, and since I have afraid, that takes away from like well, my danger. I could clear that condition, but I want to see if you guys, like, what do you think your stance is? I think you should this? clear a condition, because a phrase is a very win. bad one to have, and it could also the... bolster your confidence, fucking him up. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, though, remember, as Nova, I, I try not to use danger. I, I don't even think I've used danger for Cosmos, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> just, I just, it'd be nice, it'd be nice for you to have the option just in case you run out of burn or anything. That's true. All right, then I'll Oh, yeah. Take... Burn does hinge heavily on conditions. Yes, it does. Because now, if I clear the condition, I have, you know, a, ze a, a zero. But if I don't, I'd have the plus one towards that burn. Let's see. That, that case, I don't know how the Nova works, Shadi. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, right. The burn's better the more conditions you have. However, if you keep taking those conditions, that I'd that say play it safe. Okay. Then I think I'll clear afraid. I think with that, you know, yeah. like seeing yeah. that See? Travis just beat death a little. <laughs> yeah, and also he looks shocked um and he kind of like gains his footing for a moment um but i think in that moment of hesitation who wants to get in a strike patrick want me to take a yeah, shot you take it you want to take a pot shot uh yeah i think where is he right now is he airborne he's uh, I think he's a little airborne, just very slightly, kind of, like, levitating, but he's got all of these strings that are, like, hanging off his fingers, and he's still staring at Ashtara, almost stunned that anything has stopped him at all. Good. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a bit of a called shot. I'm gonna take that, that pipe that I got off the ground, I'm gonna relocate while he's distracted to a spot of, uh, where I can see the most strings in one place. I think I'm going to overhand throw it and try and tangle them all up and plant the pipe into a wall. Uh, what exactly is that doing? Like, is that... I don't know. I'm trying to... I'm trying to pin down his strings. Oh, I oh, got it. I'm trying to bind them and I'm trying to, yeah, to stop them from to whatever it is. Yeah, roll to directly engage a threat. Oh my god, my special thing. Ah, uh, that's it... all I need. You want to pin I'm... his strings? Yeah, I'll take something from him. That is what I wanted to do. Alrighty. Can you describe to me what this looks like? Yeah, I think it's one while of the... the... Epic, while the epic, epic symphony concludes. I think it's one of the pipes that that has a curved bit on it. Maybe not PVC. Maybe it's it's a metal pipe, mm -hmm. but it still has that curved bit on it, kind of like a spout. And you know how um, uh, like pop up tents have the little uh, divots, the little metal, uh, the little metal sticks that have the curve on it that you hammer into the ground, and the point of the curve is so that uh, it can't get lifted up. Oh, for sure. 
Yeah, it, it's kind of like that where he throws it and all of it goes through all of the strings and it has enough force so that all of the strings start to get tied up around it. And when it hits the wall, I think Patrick or well, yeah, I think Collision takes a running start and does one of those jump kicks where their entire body, uh, they kind of ball up their entire body and then kick their feet. Because it's his body, it's not that strong, but I think it plan. I think with the original impact, that kick kind of pins it to the wall with all of the strings oh, sure. underneath it. It gets yeah, pinned. Shepherd's Crook. That's exactly yeah, it. Shepherd's Crook. It gets um. I also think of Gamer Rick whenever you're seeing <laughs> Patrick. Um, his strings get stuck in the wall. Um, and uh, he momentarily stops and i think this is when he's gonna mark his first condition yeah. his <laughs> first condition as he stops and he kind of like is throw his strings get stuck and keep in mind like his strings slice through everything and by sheer force of will his strings are stopped and i think in this moment he stops I'm gonna skip all of the tracks. He. I think. Yes, there we go. Collision holds his arm down and goes, What's wrong? A little tied up? As. He kind of looks over. And his eyes narrow for just a moment. So I'll have, I'll have on-car market condition. I'll tell you what it is in a moment, but for now, you kind of watch this kind of uh, confused look on his face. Suddenly, you, like, snap into focus. No, no. You aren't, like, the pawns I've been knocking over. <laughs> he, um, you watch... He snaps his fingers, and uh, you all see this, like, blue spectral string connected to all of you from, like, the front of your chest um, that kind of looks like it just leads out. Um, it, like, leads out just a little bit in front of you and fizzles. Um, like, maybe about a foot. And he goes, <laughs> how interesting. Those don't just lead to anything in this tangible universe. No. No, they lead somewhere far greater. If I am but the protagonist, then you are merely the antagonist. I simply cannot have this be. I cannot lose to a bunch of kids. Looks at all of you, claps his hands together and goes, let's play a new game. Why kill the creation when I can kill the creator? No, no. Why kill the characters? when I can kill the source. And that is when he will mark his first condition to use his move, um, to use, um, to use his, uh, move as, um, all of you guys are pulled by your strings forward into a blue and white swirling portal. This portal begins to um, lead you forward, and you guys go swirling through this vortex. Um, and he is going to use his—he's going to use his um, move to switch you with an alternate version of yourself. Excuse me. He's going to switch you with an <laughs> He's going to switch you with an alternate version of yourself. You all go flying through this portal. And as you are flying through this portal, we cut back to that small tabletop in California. We see six figures sitting around the table eating snacks and um we see the GM kind of look up from their book and from their, like, computer notes. And he just kind of stops and he goes, Wait, I didn't write that in the script. And that's when we see these spectral portals appear behind Rain, Spy, Ent, and Iza. 
as you all are sucked through the portal and out from California. You all go flying through these portals, and as you uh, go through, Spy, you pass through, um, and kind of, as you are moving through, you see a second, you see another figure moving in the opposite direction. You see Travis Kane moving through, and I think the two of you make eye contact. And I think Travis, uh, like, looks almost like a little shocked, um, as he goes flying past and just kind of like, you know, same color hair. Well, I, no, he has white hair now. Just as you two, uh, kind of like brush past each other and switch places. Oh. And, <laughs> and you are pulled, uh, through, uh, the portal, um, Uh, you are pulled through, um, the portal. Uh, you are pulled through the portal as, um, um, as, uh, you see before you Patrick. Um, kind of, like, trying to reach back to go back where he came from. I think he looks over at you, uh, just kind of raises an eyebrow. We're passing each other in slow motion. I just point out and go, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um, yeah, and I, I think that's what, I think that's what happens. Um, you two kind of just basically just passing each other in, uh, slow motion. Um, as you kind of, like, make your way further through through the portal. Isa! <laughs> you begin to make your way through the portal as well, this blue swirling vortex. Um, and you and Astra pass right by each other, and I think, I think Astra is able to grab onto your arm as you guys are being pulled, and causing you both to, like, spin as Astra, like, holds onto you and kind of, like, looks behind her where she's being pulled, kind of sees your outfit and goes, Nice glasses. Oh, I like your hair. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you look so. And then you guys both are pulled <laughs> apart from each other and strewn through the portal. Finally, Rain. Rain Wing. You are basic are pulled through the portal from California. Uh, still holding on um, to the remnants of your dice that you were just kind of clutching on as you move through the portal. And as you hold on to them for dear life, um, uh, you are um, you are caught in the arms of someone else. You look back and it's so trippy. It's Beatrice as she holds on to you. She kind of looks over at you and goes, Are you doing okay? Well, this is probably not the yeah. best scenario, but yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm doing fine. Good luck. I don't need it, but thank you. She kind of, she lets go uh, as her fingers slip. And you all are brought to Halcyon City. You guys all land on your ass. Um, and I think, I think, I think, I think Brandon lands on his face. You guys all land, um, you all land on the dirt and rubble as Encore stands before you. He kind of looks over and he goes, Wow, you are more pathetic than I thought you would be. Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? <laughs> oh, I think I'm talking to... What? Uh, Isa? Is it? You don't get to call me that clown-ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and you think you're gonna stop me? Yeah, you know what? <laughs> she like moves her like sleeves. <laughs> and I can't say that. 
finally. <laughs> you almost got me to say it. <laughs> no. I, I will. I will say. I will say. There's no noticeable. There's no noticeable difference. You do no not noticeable feel, difference between. You do not feel any different than you did sitting in California. Uh. And keep in mind. Keep in mind, knowing what you know about this guy, he is a murderer. And you guys are four teenagers. Well, and, well okay, well, and then well, I'm, I'm, well. We all are. <laughs> okay, well, 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 you're well, basic, okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Does this mean I can legally use the mask sex move? Oh my god, we're oh not gonna god. use the mask sex move. <laughs> On who, bestie? On Encore, on obviously. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> you guys are insufferable. <laughs> there is no mask we'd sex cower. move. <laughs> you think we'd we, cower in We cannot talk about that publicly. <laughs> Put it away. Put it away. <laughs> I'm more than happy to fade to black if that's what you want. <laughs> lines and veils, lines guys, and veils. guys, you know, some of the people who go to my college are watching this. Oh, are you Hi. serious? Yes! Hi. Yes! Please stop oh talking my... about the mask sex move. I'll stop talking about it when it starts being so funny. <laughs> For anyone here who knows Spooky in real life, you don't know who I am. <laughs> For sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah, anyways, I'm gonna nurse my probably broken nose. <laughs> Your nose is not broken. No, oh, so, oh, so safe. Is my face in one piece? <laughs> um, you, your, you guys actually do not, your doom boxes and your, your doom boxes and your, or sorry, your death boxes and, um, What's it called? Death boxes and uh, conditions. conditions do not carry over. You do not have your character sheets anymore. The character sheets in the roll twenty, oh. you do not have them anymore. Oh. I have your character sheets. What my stats? That you don't have wrong. stats anymore. <laughs> no. You are four regular people against an eldritch entity. Do you really want to die here? Nah, I'm good with running. Fuck okay, it, we ballin'. <laughs> yeah, running sounds good. Alright, who's not running? I'm not not running. Oh, for sure? Well, is everybody else not running? Is everybody else not not oh, running? Oh, well, because you're running and so is, so is Spy. I said fuck it, we ballin'. I'm gonna punch him. Oh! You're, you're gonna punch him? Okay, well then I'm gonna watch. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I am not gonna let you roll to directly engage a threat because you can't. He catches your fist. He leans forward and he goes, Oh, spy. I gave you a chance to run. I'll give you another. I'll give you yeah, no, you know, I'll give you I'll, I'll give you a head I'll give you a head start. How oh, thank that? you. Very kind of you. <laughs> Why? For real, for On God? Just like that? Let's play a little game. <laughs> what, what do I don't want to play? Can I say no? Is One, this consent based? Two, okay. <laughs> three, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Four, <laughs> five, ten, run, 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 twenty-seven. <laughs> 36. You're cheating, you're cheating, you're cheating, you're cheating, you're cheating. And you, are you guys booking it? Yeah. Yes. No, actually, I think I'm gonna. No, yeah, I'm, right. I'm gone. I've been gone. Grab Spy by the scruff like a kitten. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I, you know, I was the first one to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the fuck out of there. I would I would have liked to throw a rock before I started running in third tail. <laughs> I'd sure. <laughs> Grab you from the <laughs> scruff of your neck like a kid. <laughs> we ball him. <laughs> Fuck it, we ballin'. <laughs> Some bullshit. If you're gonna send us to another dimension, at least give us the powers to match. Law of equivalent exchange or something. Exactly. You can't chuck us in here with nothing, we'll die. I guess that's the point. <laughs> God, I'm supposed to have 30 alternative accounts. This isn't working. <laughs> Alright, so you guys are gonna run? 
You, uh, yeah. Yes. Alrighty yes. then. Should we split the party? <laughs> no. <laughs> How about this? How about this? How about this? We say don't split the party because everybody's stronger together. We are equally as weak together than we are apart. Uh, talk for yourself. Uh, I will, and I'll talk for everybody else too, <laughs> motherfucker. Oh my god, with this, no. That way, this, no. We'll stay in one place. No, but then we have, then at least one of us has twice as much screen time alive as the other two. You're so right. <laughs> it's all about screen time. It's all about the numbers, it's baby. It's about the, the numbers. numbers. It's about the view. This is my turn in the spotlight. Move over. <laughs> so we run. Yes. I reckon, I reckon. I say we don't split up because if we split you guys up, start one of you moving disappear. through the destroy destroyed rubble of Halcyon City, as you can hear Encore destroying what was now the care center, taking just a few minutes to well get in some practice before the game begins. His game. You guys begin to run and run and run. And I think you guys take refuge in a nearby, like, in, like, maybe about, like, I'd say a, a building about a half mile away. Just kind of, like, exhausted um, from running. Because uh, I think, I think, I think you guys all, if you don't split the party, you guys can all stay together. Um, well, let's stick together. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you guys are able to hide in a building, a near, like, just a nearby building. Mm. I am literally so good at hide and seek. So small. Put me into a cabinet. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot. Some, I sometimes I forget that you're minuscule. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm. I'm just like. I just give that energy. Just you want us to energy. It's just stuff you in a cabinet and call it a night. And no. Us, we'll book it. <laughs> no. You know what? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Goodbye. No. Oh, yeah. No. No. <laughs> oh wow. Well. Did you guys also, like, go through the wormhole from In Space with Markiplier and see the characters that we were playing? Oh, yeah. I didn't watch it yet. Okay, I didn't watch it yet. Okay. I mean, I haven't watched yes, it yet either. That's yes, not really... I did. That's not the forefront of mine. <laughs> that, that, that's not really my biggest alert, concern. Alert. <laughs> that's my biggest oh. concern right now, actually. The ending to In Space with Markiplier. I need it. I, I, you cannot spoil ending? that for me. Maybe in the midsection. I can't believe it. We've all we've all become the beacon, except instead of devoting our lives to uh, sword fighting or stealth, it's LARPing and drawing and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Never mind. I ask you guys: Are you doing anything when you have this moment of of like respite? We're about to be chased by the world's worst Boo Boo the Fool. So what do we got? You're so right. I don't even have pockets. I will say there are nearby cars that are sort of destroyed, but so some of them are not totally destroyed. So you theoretically could hotwire a car to make more distance. Who the fuck here knows yeah, how to hotwire a car? Well, I mean, the, okay, the last time I ran this, Payne actually knew how to hotwire a car, so he could. Yeah, I know how to hotwire a car. Do I? Do you actually? Wait, no. If it's a Honda, just get a fucking USB. If we find a Honda somewhere and have a USB port, we okay. can figure something out. You okay, a Honda, a Honda? Hondas, Hondas yes. flood out of the woodworks, okay? They're like parasites. <laughs> Can we can we hack a Honda? Or what? We just need to go to a residential neighborhood with more than three bathroom or with more than three bedrooms, and we'll find a Honda. You're so right. I mean, it's you also know. like the apocalypse here, right? Yeah, well, do they have Hondas in Halcyon City? Yeah. We need to find a we happen. need to find a Wanda. <laughs> Yeah, they have Wanda. I have the same exact um, thought. Oh, Where's my Wanda? I need to. <laughs> um, as you guys are. As you guys are kind of like taking stock of what you have, Isa. Yes. Your phone is blowing up like crazy. Oh, it's the be for real app. Got you. <laughs> it's your be real app. Yeah, My bumble is going absolutely insane right now. What I'm gonna I'm gonna of course 
take out my phone and look. You pull out your phone and you're you are getting blown up. You dot. Pe oh, no, exactly like, like people are blowing you up on Twitter and Instagram. Um, and you notice that you're trending. Oh, I'm like gonna blush, guys. I'm you totally see, trending. <laughs> uh, you see, um, you see, uh, like these, like, um, like pictures of you that you didn't even know were taken, um, as you were running by of people saying butterfly spotted in Western Halcyon. Uh, OMG, you know, she's back. Oh, like, like, you know, like kind of like all of these chattering, um, like tweets. Uh, of people who you've never met and never even heard of suddenly tweeting about you saying that they can't believe you're back and oh my gosh like this is crazy like OMG she's just what we need like you it's going crazy I'm like totally trending on Twitter not for the reason I thought uh, they could all see my old contemporary tweets I have to destroy all <laughs> of it <laughs> Oh my god. Apparently apparently in this oh world no. contemporancy no, no. actually actually got popular. Oh, I didn't even tell you how painfully my face twisted when you said that. A little physically, Isa. I think my I think I that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Isa, what are but you gonna do? I'm I'm probably gonna show them. I'm gonna turn around. Oh They're saying God. I'm back. I've never been here to begin with. Where did you go? Where I don't did you know. Come from? Where, Where did, did you I go? go? Where did I come from? We're all ill. We're all victims of our <laughs> generation. Illness, illness, illness. So, okay. Um, if you're turning here, I start. <laughs> I start like gesturing the way that I do and looking off into the the middle left, the way that I do when I'm doing math in my head. Uh, <laughs> do we exist here? Like we're because this this kind of this kind of vibes like you, there there was a you that was here and she was a hero. That's so crazy. There's only one of me's, bro. Do you wanna? <laughs> what would you like to do? You well, apparently have internet Google? access here, unlike every, unless un sure. unlike Roll the rest to of your, unless the re <laughs> unlike the rest of your party members. Roll to Google search. I swear to God. Um, <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, you have a move for that. Um, huh? I'm gonna let you roll. Uh, so roll in chat. Just type two d six, or do a flat roll from your character sheet, and then I will uh, add pluses or minuses depending on what your stat is, and then I will right. let you roll for your move. I would like to do a flower. I have not I revealed what your playbook that. is yet, but you have a playbook. Holy shit. All right, I'm going to do a flat T do T do T D 2D6. 62. <laughs> um on, on the um roll 20. Hold on, let me. Quickly, does anyone have six coins that I could flip? Oh, I didn't say no whammy. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Hey, that's Let's good. go. Let's see what your move does. No whammy. So who are you asking a question about? Who are you asking? Like, I assume you're asking it about yourself, right? Yeah. You rolled uh, a 12. Oh. Yeah. Um, nice. So really you can me. ask three questions. <laughs> what have you been up to? What or who do you care the most about? What allies do you have? What enemies? Where and when can I find you? And how can I make... Actually, hmm. I'm gonna have you... You might need to write these I'll... down. You know what? I'll just have you make... I'll have you... I'll turn this into just an assess the situation instead. Because I feel like your move might not fit here. Now that I'm okay. thinking about it. Let me check the... Okay, um... that's fine. Uh, let's do assess. Okay. So I got a 12, so that means two. Okay. 
Oh, right. The assess the situation questions are not really that. <laughs> um. Uh, remember, we have the homebrew rule of you can use, uh, you can forfeit two of your questions to ask one off the list. Uh, off the list? So, for I'm assess the situation. Okay, no, no, it's all good. So, for assess the situation, there are specific questions that you can ask. Um, and when you, when you get a 10 plus, you get two. You can forfeit your questions to ask one off the list. So, like, this is the list of questions that you can ask from. And you get two of those, or you can get one that you make. So, you could literally ask, like, what, like, you could ask, um, like, who am I in this universe? Or, like, what... How That's... do they know me? Or, like, you could ask one that is off the list, but you would only get one. We? Who are or we? Or would that be too much? Yeah, sure. I would let All you right. do that. I think you decide, I think you look yourself up. Can't believe I'm Googling myself. Um, um, you look up yourself, and you see Isa, your mom, and, <laughs> which, yes, your username is your last name, um, Isa, your mom, not to be confused with Isa's Bizarre Adventures, um, and, okay, um, you are apparently some sort of celebrity here, but you haven't been spotted in some some like 19 20 years uh they say that you're some sort of time dimensional traveler so you might have been here in the future but in their past question mark you're not really sure but apparently you're a huge celebrity here and a lot of people are devoted to you devoted ooh <laughs> you are you are very popular here. Um, oh, even though for real you have not been spotted in over what? How long has have I been alive? Twenty years? <laughs> no, no. I need to know how long JoJo's been around. Oh, shit. Ooh, nineties. Like that's the nineties. <laughs> well, but I mean, you're a time traveler, so you haven't been here since the like nineties. Oh. Uh, 1987. 80s? <laughs> yeah, 1987. Oh so, I'm old. old. I'm well, so you're not that old, old, but like that was when you last appeared. God. Oh. oh my god, you're middle aged. Don't call me that! <laughs> oh my god. You're gonna break her. <laughs> you got a wrinkle. <laughs> She's gonna start crying. I'm I'm gonna start crying. I'm not she. I... <laughs> I'm gonna hinder superior spy. I think that's what funny. Why? Well, because you're just a little guy. I just you're you're just a little guy, and I gotta I gotta keep you down. <laughs> this is literally just bullying. <laughs> it's so easy. Um, but uh, Isa. Um, you look yourself up, and, uh, your friends are nowhere to be mentioned. Um, I think you look up, I think you look up, um, I think you look up, a uh, spy, and something does come up, but it's, like, they say something, like, it, it's, it's not like a, it's more like an incident report from Ooh. around the, the same time that you were last spotted, so... Oh, fuck, I'm old, too. <laughs> you know, I have wrinkles. Middle-aged, middle-aged, middle-aged. You're gonna be middle-aged, too, at this point, motherfucker. <laughs> Don't jinx it. Well, we'll I see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm not on Google. <laughs> oh, are you? Um... I don't want you to... I don't want you to Google everything, so I think I'm gonna leave it there, and I think your phone bricks. Okay. I don't uh, wanna... I don't wanna give you any more answers. Uh, my baby. Oh, my phone. 
Wait, like so an said, incident <laughs> report? An incident report on what? What have I done? I Well, the phone bricked. I don't know. It died. Well, I'll use my phone then. <laughs> Your phone has no service. The only this person... is because I'm a T-Mobile user, isn't it? It's, you're discriminatory. Actually, you're actually a B-Mobile. B-Mobile. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's go! Let's go! Let's <laughs> go! There's a 1 in 26 chance that we did that. <laughs> That's so funny. We're so goaded. Um, but Isa, you were the only one who has service because you're just that cool, but... And everybody else can suck. So fucking cool so. and famous. You guys you are just not famous. Trending on Twitter. Isa, <laughs> if you correctly guess your playbook, I will give you access to your real character sheets. All that I ask Fuck. is that everybody's character sheets are on the same sheet. So don't, don't spoil who has who or what has what, uh, or thing. even their powers, because your powers. If you haven't already got the memo, your powers are on here too. Oh. We have but we have powers. We have powers. Well, what I found them yet. Um, I don't even know what sheet I'm supposed to be looking off of. I'm gonna be honest. Well, I'm, but I do have a guess in mind. What's your guess? I don't. Uh, I don't want. Well, I'm trying. You can guess I wrong. I go but I if you guess wrong, I won't let you guess for another few minutes. Oh, okay. okay so That's you're okay. not like blocking me off. <laughs> No, no, no. So <laughs> you can off. guess wrong. Um, okay. If you guess wrong, I won't let you guess for another few minutes. I'll let you try to find more information, make another guess. Okay. Is it the star? You may have access to your character sheet. Yo! <laughs> as as you are the first person who unlocks their character sheet. Um, as I think you kind of recognize, you clock devoted fan base. Um, uh, kind of, like, very easily connected to them, um, and that is your two audience perks. You are stunning, unique, and beautiful. You are charming, well-spoken, and smart, and a total badass bitch. You get shit done. Your audience is utterly devoted to you, and you can easily speak to them at any time. However, they require frequent acts of heroism, as well as frequent bouts of drama. They like it when you're bullying your teammates. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. They cite you as butterfly because you have strange wings that seemingly manifest on your back when you command them to. Literally about a butterfly in my dream. <laughs> but uh I, I don't think you know how to activate them. You just know that you have them and you have some sort of other ability, but it you're not it, it's not really specific. Hmm. They just call it, they, they, they just, it's just titled, Butterflies Ain't Shit. Uh-huh. Mm, that's but it's, so it's, specific. But it's Butterflies, like, apostrophe S, ain't shit. So it's like, I, that is as good as an answer I can give you. Because your huh. name is Butterfly, in, in this, in this kind of reality, sort of. Uh huh. Oh, interesting. Alrighty then. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Madam Butterfly, Madam Butterfly, Pog. Literally. <laughs> Madam Butterflies ain't shit. <laughs> you guys hear Encore drawing closer, though. I'm afraid time cannot stand still. While you figure out mm. what your powers are. You only have a few more minutes before he is he draws ever close. And frankly, beats you all into the dirt. Okay, well I'm grabbing something. <laughs> First and foremost, I grab something. What are you grabbing? Anything. Um Pro I think like a wood plank or something. I, I think you find like a wood plank that's like vaguely bat shaped. Mmm. Lovely. <laughs> For you. For me. Are we, are we not gonna keep running? Oh no, we are. I just okay. want something. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, you know, souvenir shopping in the end times. Uh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you guys can't run forever. How are you gonna get away? 
Um, you know what? This is a superhero world. Can I look for a hidden compartment? <laughs> one house has got to have one. Um... Oh, I'm actually, Isa, you yes. have a move. Um, so you'll notice on your character sheet, you actually have two advancements. I yes. gave you two advancements. Oh, the other thing that carries over from your character, there's only one thing that carries over from your original character sheets. That's your experience. Okay. None of us have failed yet, if I remember. Exactly. Oh, never mind. So it doesn't matter. Has. doesn't matter. Uh, oh, no, he that. was helped. You were helped. I was helped, though. Um, but I gave you two advancements. Isa, you have an advancement from another playbook, Sharpened I Eyes. You can always I ask, did. what's my best way in, out, past? What here would be handy to grab? And who here is susceptible to my words? You can ask them anytime you assess, and you have assessed. So if you would like to ask them, you may. I I would like to ask a question. I would like to have an answer. All right. Um, what's my best way out? to not die. Yeah. I think your best way out in this situation, I think you kind of clock that Encore's drawing closer. And, um, well, it says you can fly. At least it's I said on the wiki, so. <laughs> I have a wiki. <laughs> I mean, you have a very dedicated fan base. Of course you have a wiki. Why would you not? He's all right. <laughs> Why would you not have a wiki? I could fly. I could fly. You carry three people. All I right. I say, craning my neck down to look at you. Stop! <laughs> I'm sure my wings are very strong. I'm sure they are. I'm. I guess I'm gonna try to fly. I'm gonna like pose. I'm gonna like. All right. <laughs> You're gonna level wings. up this moment. <laughs> <laughs> activate. <laughs> I'm guessing they I'm don't activate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now what? <laughs> I suck in through my teeth. <laughs> Isa, Isa, what are you doing? Wait, are you like, what are you doing when you, wait, like, sorry, this is like really specific. What are you doing? I'm like in a stance. No, 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 no. I'm asking Brandon. <laughs> Oh. I'm uh, wincing at what I just witnessed. <laughs> this is like so specific. Are you like holding your breath? Or are you just like, ooh, when you do that? I, I mean, for a brief period, probably. I think. Because <laughs> I'd have to watch that. <laughs> I think the bat falls out of your hand. When you hold Would your I breath be... for just that split second, the bat falls through. Uh, and you, for, a to... moment, for a moment, I think you think it just slips out of your hand. Is is the is the media that I that I am pulling from in my mind something we as people know of? Uh, you guys are yourself. If you so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look down at the bat. I'm gonna hold my breath real quick. I'm gonna take a big breath there and I'm gonna hold it. You hold your breath and you can't you become intangible. Your hand passes right through the bat. Uh you actually start sinking a little, uh, when you hold your breath oh. for super long, like just a little, <laughs> and you kind of have to like uh like you guys watch Brandon slowly get shorter and have to like almost like step up um back onto the ground. And it's kind of weird, it's I'm not going to explain the specifics of the superpower. It's, like, just kind of weird, but mm. I'm actually really quick. I, I'm so surprised. I was like, I was like, oh, he's probably not going to figure it out. And then you're like, I suck air in. I was like, if you suck air in, you're going to hold it. At least for I a second. I can't believe, I can't believe Isa made me cringe so hard that I found my superpower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so my useful. God. That's all the time. <laughs> that's so funny. That is so funny. I really love the imagery Brandon. Isa, Isa going like, wings, activate, and me looking at you going, what the hell are you doing? And I turn around and Brandon you... is in the floor. <laughs> the power of cringe wins again, as as Ent, you have the ability to phase, but only when you hold your breath. Yep. What? 
What the shit? How did you do that? That's literally not fair. <laughs> <laughs> I just built different. I don't know what to say. Mm. Yeah. Cool, well, can you me. sink us all into the ground so we're in the floor and he doesn't Here, notice we're give there? Me, give, me, give me your hands. I don't know. I, no. You guys have fun with that one. I grab, I grab <laughs> Spy's hands. Yeah, you're always grabbing me. Alright, you're gonna hold on. You're gonna hold on. Alright, everybody on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. We're going on the count of three. You all, Brennan, you hold your breath and you sink your hands. You drop their hands. Oh. Oh. Do you want to try again? Yeah. Alright. If you try again, I'll let you roll to unleash your powers. Give it to me. I'll, I'll... Give it the old college try. I'll I'll grasp their hands firmlier. <laughs> well, I hate that. We're holding hands. <laughs> Friendship. You're firmly holding my hand and Oh my god. Oh Is my this the mask sexy <laughs> <laughs> You oh are god, insufferable. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, roll, roll, roll. Alright. Oh shit, right. I was like, oh wait, these aren't the real stats, so I closed the character sheet forgetting the fact that there's just a flat 2d6. Uh, 5. So uh, that is a good 4. 4, I have, I'm not that freaky. You have a <laughs> minus 1 in freak. As, as you once again, like, sink through, and you, your hands just keep slipping through theirs, and you just slowly mm. sink into the ground. Uh, and, and you actually let your breath up too early, and when you let your breath up, your body ejects itself up. Um, Ooh. like- Boing. I'm like, in the fucking back rooms. <laughs> no, like, so- uh, Yeah, you go to the back rooms. Uh, no, so, you notice when you let go of your breath too early, uh, your body is shunted out of the wall. Like, it's shunted upward, and you even kind of, like, bounce up a little, and you kind of land on your feet, and it's like- it's almost like you were just gently, like, or not gently, like, sl you were, like, slingshot up, uh, but it was not that strong as you weren't that deep into the ground. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm officially freaking out. <laughs> yeah, you're freaking out? You sound like freaking it. Freaking out, wigging out, you know? Yeah, For I'm sure. losing my marbles. <laughs> Going a little kooky. Calm down, man. Calm down. You're, yeah, you're getting crazy. Easy. <laughs> take it easy. Take it easy. All right, we're just gonna have to get crazy. We're just gonna have to get weird with it. All right. Should I? I mean, he's coming. You have maybe about two minutes. All right. I'm gonna start dancing. What if that activates what? it? What if I don't know? You start like, dancing. I I have wings. Uh. As I you start, Bayonetta. wait, okay, okay, straight up. <laughs> as, you, two for two. As, you, fucking right. as you start uh, dancing, you guys all watch as um, this shimmer, um, like, starts to um, gloss over Isa. And as this shimmer, as she kind of, like, dances, um, like, back and forth, um, this shimmer kind of shines up and these spectral wings begin to form out. And um, this, like, <laughs> like... How do I put this lightly? This, like, <laughs> seven-foot, um, figure, almost resembling, like, Jamin Mob Builder, but not oh, quite, oh. um, no way. like, uh, a starts to, um, form oh, behind and comes, like, this arched pose, like, pointed fingers. Um, oh, as, oh, as, as, as oh. you have a stand, <laughs> you... I'm gonna... I, as you, oh as, <laughs> as you have a stand that is Jamin Mob Builder 17. Stop. <laughs> I like to say this dance isn't anything like, I bet it is the Macarena, bro. I bet it is like the Macarena, Tim. <laughs> this is my fucking stand. <laughs> as, as, as you are, as on your character sheet, I specifically said you have, um, you have uh, electrodynamic control. That's what you were talking about. You have electrodynamic oh. control that manifests in a very unique way, as this oh is a JoJo God. reference. I was like <laughs> trying to look up electrodynamic. I was like, nothing's what? Like lightning? I didn't think. 
As, as, <laughs> as, as, as your electrodynamics, as you see this like electric, uh, like like seven foot figure kind of like manifest this electricity like crackling off as you've manifested your stand. And it's it's literally the clip from Helsing Ultimate Abridged, the and yes, this is a JoJo reference. <laughs> as, as This is awful. <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> I, can I, I dap always... up your stand? Yeah, you <laughs> you can go ahead. You dap up you dap up uh Isa's stand, he daps you up and kind of like he goes, Brandon? <laughs> yeah, what's up? 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 As he just goes, has the sex move. Fantastic. <laughs> I Never better. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> it's it fucking talk. It's like echo fucking. <laughs> I, yeah, I've just, I've changed my mind. We're gonna be fine. <laughs> I'm gonna say I changed my mind. I want Encore to take me. <laughs> just kill me right now. <laughs> I didn't cause any of this, okay? I didn't do this on purpose. <laughs> Don't lose hope now. <laughs> can't believe you as as so. your stand, your stand like leans over and just goes, it's okay. You're you're already trending. It's fine. This is already trending. Oh my god, wait, does, does he know about the world? Can we... <laughs> being hunted for sport. <laughs> but I gotta know if Jamin's on Twitter in this world. As, as his stand? Oh no, his stand is an incorporeal uh, um, being that uh, only managed. So no hunt showdown later? No. <laughs> no, no, Valorant. no Valorant. You're gonna use no my Valorant. stand as just to play. <laughs> <laughs> we need a little, we need a plus one to fill out the queue. Quick, as, Isa, as he... quick, Isa, I need to play Valorant with Jamin Mob Builder. Summon your stand. Give me orange justice. <laughs> as 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 your stand as 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 Isa, your stand leans over to um to uh Brandon just goes, yeah, sorry. In this world, you're still not good at Valorant. Damn! That was cold hearted. Alright, I love you. No, I top fragged in a couple games that you that he was in. Yeah, and you're still not good. This is so cringe. Put him back. Like, put him back. Put him back. <laughs> I don't know how to put him back. Oh, shit. Do I just wave him off? Okay. How do you do the mock arena in reverse? <laughs> what if I do, I'm the do it. Put what it away. Is it, are you gonna are you gonna demanifest your stand? Listen to Doja Cat in Rivers. Not okay. Wait, how far is an encore? <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, he's here. Oh! <laughs> you guys, he took so long dapping up the stand that uh, encore arrives. Um, and as um, as um, as encore arrives, he just goes peekaboo, and immediately uh, your stand turns around, does a like a does a like a one eighty. Uh, grabs him by the throat, and I'm gonna need you to, um... I'm gonna need you to roll to directly engage a threat as your stand is going to attack for you. Should I do the roll the 2d6? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I forget what that is. Uh, that's a 7? Uh, I believe that's you just got a minus seven. 6 from... Oh, that's for spy. Is that for spy, or is that... Would you like to hinder this roll? Six. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Okay, it's for spy. Thought, so you get yeah, what the hell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it'll apply to spy's next roll. As, as your as your stand. Um, actually, what's your danger? Oh, your danger is zero. That's right, because I made you a boss, bitch. Um, just oh, yeah. stand, um, kind of like arcs, um, uh, arcs his back, and, um, you kind of, you hear, you kind of hear him, like, uh, you hear him, like, uh, I don't really know how JoJo works, but he says, you say the stand name, right? You say the stand thing? 
Jiminum of the list. 17. <laughs> Jimin my builder, but it's the but it's the that? English dub, so it's so it's you hear you hear vague Jimin mob man thirteen. <laughs> As you hear vague Japanese like in the background that's like overdubbed in real time, um. As you just hear Jimin mob builder butterfly blood sweat and tears. <laughs> and instantly, um, like the two of them like interlock in fighting, and Encore's like, oh shit, and uh, you guys are able to. Um, I will let him, uh, resist and avoid blows as you guys can make your escape. <laughs> as your stand will take the brunt. Alright! Jamin, Jamin fucking kills Encore. <laughs> Let's get out of here! <laughs> Let's go. If it goes based off of different JoJo rules, I shouldn't be hurt. Let's leave! <laughs> Yeah, I don't need to know my powers anymore. I'm just fleet. I, I am. I can. Di I can die in peace now, knowing that Jamin Mob Builder, for at least thirty seconds, protected me from Encore. Hey, don't make this about sure, you. Let's go. No, I will, <laughs> excuse you. I will make this about me. You. I will leave you behind with this clown. Let's fucking leave. I'm not his side hoe. We've been over this. Actually, I'm gonna do Please, this. I would like I to roll to engage a... <laughs> We're not. We're dying. I would like to roll to Actually, engage a threat uh, to, to Travis. Uh, <laughs> it's a spy. <laughs> it's not Travis anymore, yeah. <laughs> it's spy, um, sorry. I think what I actually want to do really quick is take a two-minute break. I need to go to the bathroom so badly. So if you want to talk... <laughs> I think all of us do. Hold I, on. Yeah, let's... if you guys want to... If you want to talk about this for just a minute, I think we can take a two-minute break. Be back at 10.37? Or, no, to wait, 10.39. Get some water. Oh, water. I have um, apple juice. But yes, uh, this is a JoJo <laughs> reference. We'll be right back. I... Holy shit. You know, I'm glad you guys know me so well, and I start dancing in my powers fucking manifest? Okay. I can't believe <laughs> we literally did two blind dart shots and both got <laughs> full size. I was trying to get the wings. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, you're dying. <laughs> yes. And then Isa explodes. I'm here. I'm here. Hello. You're good. You're good. That electro, the electro <laughs> he killed you. <laughs> I, you oh, know, in shit. some way, I knew he was gonna be with me right now. Like, I knew oh, in some shit. way. Oh my god. Oh my god, is right. I need to, I'm gonna take two and just wash my face real quick and just clean up after that. I don't even need to find out powers with you. This is I, all. This I, is I, I'm, I'm happy. happy. <laughs> do you, do you I'm think so I'm OP happy. enough? Do you think I'm an OP stand user? <laughs> I'm so content with just letting you throw Jamin at the enemy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Deal this with it for me. <laughs> I feel perfectly balanced as all things should be. <laughs> we're, we just gonna, we're just gonna stand back and and Ent's gonna figure out how to make us all intangible and Jamin's gonna kill Encore. <laughs> This is what I needed in my life. It's like, you know, I've had, like, history. my depression has been cured. <laughs> my oh, Jamin that's... stand has healed all. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do, do tell, do tell. God. That that was that was crazy. I that was, that was so... wild from start. That was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is I'm like gonna start crying. I have so much fun right now. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean you hugged Tabitha and they almost died? What did you do? What? Oh, oh, oh no. yes. <laughs> I'm back. Hi. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. oh my god. Uh, yeah, we asked we asked yeah. the D team what they what they were and what they did. Uh, yeah. or, or not D team, we're the D team. We asked the curtains crew. The C yeah, the C team. 
Yeah, no. I'm so, gl I'm so Actually, glad that they bet are are they good? They're gonna you be guys, fine. You guys, you the... guys, want to know a secret about the private crew? So Good did you, you guys saw the curtains crew out of context, right? Yes. Oh, I haven't seen that in a while. Yeah, um, where Tabitha is depicted as the Antichrist. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> um, Tabitha had was the newborn and had a psychic bike uh, from the Outsider. Um, and uh, their psychic bike, uh, when they said they had to leave, their psychic bike went <laughs> and said. And it basically, anytime the bike would talk, it would basically be like, Hello, it is I, bike. <laughs> and it would speak like that. And it, and Tabitha was like, I'm sorry, I have to go. And the bike went, pew, 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 pew. I wait your return like the Antichrist. <laughs> Completely out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, God. God. <laughs> So good. Well, now there you better be drawings out. of this game. <laughs> I just love the pain, God. The, okay, what's the cow? What the fuck is the cow? Uh, I think a stray cow. Oh yeah. So the bike had a weird uh source of where it got its <laughs> energy. Um. Yes. Do uh, yes. You can send him a screenshot of your character sheet. Uh, the bike had a weird food source, and it was cows. Just straight up cows. Just a straight up cow. Feed me a stray cow. cow. The eyes. <laughs> Look like a little gang gremlin. <laughs> I wrote all of your look descriptions. So Iza is, she's beautiful, she's great, she'll punch you in the face. Yes, oh, thank you. Cat had to leave, but his is built like a brick house, would probably kill you, maybe a part-time kid assigned furry. <laughs> it was that for, was that for Cat? Yes. Caddius Cad B Minecraft. That's the full name. Well, so you have Katie Chips, you have Spy the Little Guy, you have Isa your mom, you have Brandon Ent underscore, and then Rain Wing, and then in parentheses one two seven three. That's me, baby. <laughs> Don't forget the one Can't two seven three. Beloved. Look at you. They would be floats. <laughs> oh fuck, I think I know what I am. Uh, <laughs> what, are, what are you? Wait, could I guess? I promise I didn't look at anything, I just thought for two seconds and then I think I realized what I What's am. What's your guess? Am I the beacon? You may have access to your character. Let's go! I literally sat there and I was like, what, what was the thing that I rolled? It was freak. Why? Now, how many, how many have a negative freak? I have phasing. Wait, Beacon has phasing. <laughs> As how are we so fast? Um, we'd be thinking a little. It's because As... Ent is a TTRPG fucking nerd. As... I know As... he's going yeah. for the books. As Brandon, like... um, I went through the books I... before Cade said like to go through it, and that's how I found the star. But I didn't do anything for me. I didn't do anything for anyone else. Um, but uh, but <laughs> Brandon Ent underscore you are. Big adult human man, definitely not evil. <laughs> You're you have phasing and swords. I I know exactly where you went with that. I'm so on board. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you three beacon moves as one of your advancement, and then you get Janus's dangerous web. Yeah, that I will let that so I will good. I will let you roll with plus savior. That's so good. Who gave oh my this god, this is Oh, dude, this this oh, this thing is so pretty. Like I'm looking at this, it's so good. When you scroll down, uh, for no powers and not nearly enough training, you have an artifact, uh, that you do not have access to yet. I will reveal it when we progress. So I'd prefer you not to Understood. read that just yet. But you have an artifact that I will give to you later in the game. Got it. So, Rain, are you ready to spend 30 minutes figuring our shit out? <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. I'm, listen, I'm content. We met Electro Jamin. I don't need <laughs> that. <laughs> I mean, I tell you, I will tell you, I did pick your playbooks based on your personality. Um, I know what no one is. Like, 
What so, the fuck? So, for example, Isa is the star. She's a badass bitch. Anytime she walks into a room, she dominates. She is absolutely amazing. Uh, Brandon, um, you may not top frag in Valorant, but you are the heart, and I think you keep us together. And I think you you've been That's here. So sweet. You've been Fuck here. You. You've been here from the start. Um, you're a bottom fragger. You're a bottom. You're a bottom fragger in this world. Oh, that's it. That's... <laughs> no, but I'll give you a little something. When I met Brendan Conway and I had him sign my book, the one piece of advice he gave to me is to play the Beacon. Love the Beacon. The Beacon is the best playbook. And you have always shown that you are one of the most incredible TTRPG players I have ever played with. So I gave oh. you, in my opinion, the best playbook. You may not have, you know, like, oh, I don't know, super strength and durability or like, you know, any of those <laughs> powers. But I gave you something that I thought would be more meaningful. <laughs> You told them really sweet, kid. <laughs> I know you guys are all thinking about top bragging in Valorant, but <laughs> <laughs> and dies. <laughs> I just couldn't. I just don't think I had the heart to say that out loud at that time, <laughs> so I had to type it. As I have stated before, this is a love letter to you guys. So, Aww. I put my heart and soul into this game, so, carry your lots. Aww, this is for you. Buddy. Die. Die. We're done. Affection We're gonna over. Die. Oh, we'll keep running, actually. Yeah, yeah, you guys should probably keep running. You guys are gonna keep running as, <laughs> yeah, I think, Brandon, running. as you're running, you clock, you're the beacon. And you get it. Like, I, I think you clock, you're like, oh. Yeah, as you're running, you, you make that connection. I think that's when it kind of snaps into focus. Um... But, uh, you'll notice, um, I actually, who do I want to give, who would I, who do I want to roll right now? It'd be so funny if it was rain. Well, I'm, try I'm trying to figure out <laughs> who has the move that I, no, I gave, oh, I know what I did. Um, I gave, I, I know what I messed up. I was supposed to give spy two moves from another playbook so that I could give him this move. Um. That's so right. Um. Spy, can I have you roll? Uh, yeah. As I think I'm going to... As I'm going to give you... Um. Let's do... Now, I'm going to let you pick. Are you going to roll with your danger, or are you going to roll with your savior? Danger. Good pick. That's a nine. Danger. As I have let you roll all the best stuff. Do you know what that is? Yes, I have it, but there's <laughs> no way in hell I'm remembering it. Wait. Shit, I can literally just open All the up best it. No, don't don't look don't look. That's spoilers. I'm not you... looking at no, I'm opening up the homeless roll twenty because I have it in homeless. Oh, you're oh wait, sorry. that's the that's the villain. That, that's it's the your cash, cash that's move. The, it's the cash move. As I think what happens is you guys um as you are running, uh Isa, you have wings and um Brandon, you are able to uh, literally project, I think you, I think you, with your ability to kind of, like, boost yourself by holding your breath and phasing, um, and then, like, being ejected from the ground, I think you kind of clock, like, this is how we're gonna get around. With Isa flying and, um, kind of, like, just flying by the seat of her pants as you guys are, um, making your way as fast as humanly possible away from Encore. Oh, I figured out how to do that? <laughs> I mean, I you mean, manifested your wings when you uh, oh, conjured up your conjured stand. up. Yeah. All right. So you can gotcha. fly now. Am I doing good? <laughs> <laughs> My first time having uh, wings. So. But <laughs> I think you guys are gonna make your way to the east side of the city, to the industrial district.
Um, as you guys begin to cross the city, I think actually to make it even easier, I think you guys do find either some sort of bike or some sort of car that you guys are able to like all get in um, so that you can travel across the city. And our camera kind of like watches and kind of pans out as we watch these four heroes travel through the city. Kind of like trying to just effortlessly make their way through... Um, through the city. Uh, no, Tabitha's bike is not here. Sorry. <laughs> and besides, it's psychic. It only listens to Tabitha. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> you know, maybe next bar. time. Maybe next time. But you guys are able to make your way over to the industrial side of the city where you guys arrive on a shipping yard. And as you arrive, Spy, I think, Ooh. ew, I think as you are, I think as you are, um, I think as you guys are like looking around, you feel like this tingling sensation as you are like walking along the docks and you kind of pass by this warehouse and you kind of stop. And I think what makes you stop is like you kind of see the window. Um, and on the window is a sticker. It's a Decepticon sticker. Oh my god. Stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to know that me being a fucking nerd transfers over to all universes. What's in there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you enter in to a warehouse, and in this warehouse, you find um these kind of like fenced off areas. Um, a couch up to the side, a table with a lamp on it that's, like, not even, that is just, a. Uh, you kind of move over and you click it and, um, it kind of, like, fizzles on with just a little bit of oil left. And you find your cash. Now, how this cash got here, or if it's even yours, you're not quite sure. But you know exactly where to look. As you um, enter through the fenced off area that's kind of like has the, it's like fenced with like plaster over it, and you enter through the door um, with a with the keypad that's kind of like just broken off, and you arrive at a series of just boxes full of supplies. I would like a rocket launcher. <laughs> I'll give you one. Fuck yeah! I'll give you an RPG. <laughs> if you pull that out, I mean, what do you go, are you really gonna use that? <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Have, you, please, you are a fucking liar if you if you tell no, me that you have never no. wanted to shoot a rocket launcher before. I'm, listen to me, listen to me. I'm warning you right now, nobody is to be behind you when you fire that. <laughs> I'm fully on board, full warning. <laughs> No one behind you when you shoot that thing. Understood. Yes, sir. I am still shooting this thing. Go for it. Be my fucking guest. I'm <laughs> salute. <laughs> <laughs> there was a YouTube short that I saw once. <laughs> yeah, no, I want, I want a rocket launcher. All right, then. Brandon. Hello. I think it's time for you to get your relic. You open up one of the boxes that's, like, right next to the RPG. And you find a mysterious set of horns and a white bat. Mysterious set of horns. <laughs> yeah, a set of horns, like, a, like, that you wear. Almost like the one on your character. PNG Yo, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die sexy. <laughs> You're so right. Um, yeah. um, as well as some miscellaneous costume pieces. 
but you find a bat. A white bat. Would you like to take it? Yeah. Engraved on the one side is the spoiler for the French uh, RPG off if you've not played it. But on one side is escaping from your purpose is impossible. And the other side says, hence nothing remains except for our regrets. This is the Monday bat. Just for you. Let's go. I mean, when I've... I did a lot of research about the game so that I could give you an item that I thought would be worthy of you. This, this puts so many pieces together. <laughs> <laughs> I Literally, you were like, I'm... I'm I'm getting into off, right? And I, I was I was thinking about a build, and I was like, what fucking build do you have in that game? <laughs> I literally sat there like I'm gonna I'm gonna feel so bad if he's playing the wrong fucking game. <laughs> I'm but not very yeah. slick. No, I was you caught you blindsided me. I just didn't know what you were talking about when you asked. <laughs> It's funny. It's so funny. It's funny. It's, it's a so little comical. We're a little funny. We're a little quirked up. <laughs> Anyways, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die sexy. I'm gonna <laughs> rummage through the clothes. <laughs> and you'll notice, by the way, you have drives that I've picked out for you. I do. I do. Save a teammate's life, get a new hero costume, or get a new hero name, and pull off a ridiculous stunt. All things that I thought you could complete in a single game. Yeah, I, I'm I'm actively pursuing one as we speak. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Alrighty then. Um. Does anybody else want anything from the cash? I mean, what else is there? Whatever you want, I'm gonna give it to you. <laughs> Whatever I want. What do you want? Anything a gun. Your heart. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh my I'll god, give you a gun. Have like a gun. guns, yeah. please. Have a gun. Oh my god, ha a gun for your stand. Yeah. Give, <laughs> give Jamin a gun. <laughs> Jamin, god. You're so right. I'll give you an Jamin. extra one just for your stand if you give it. For, I will. I so will. A gun for you. <laughs> a gun Aaron for you, gun shoddy. Right now. <laughs> a gun for you, a gun for me. <laughs> Good for you, shoddy. Right. Good for you. They gotta be the girly-ass guns, though. With, like, like just... Yeah. All, it's like a gun, but all the parts are, like, bright pink. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just a gun, it's just pink. <laughs> Rain. I think in this cache, you find a letter. Oh. You find a letter. And as you open it, the page is completely blank. But as you hold it, the words begin to manifest on its page. The words read, To rain. You are always the one who defends others. I applaud you for that. I am proud. But remember to let others defend you as well. Okay? Love you lots. Missing you. From Rain Mom. And inside, and inside is a necklace. Oh, 
I'll, I'll take the necklace and I'll put it on. You don't feel any different. I feel better. Who knows? Um... Does anybody else want to guess their playbook? Well... Spot, it's a little obvious for you. You know you. You know. I know, I know what I am, but I don't want to get- I mean, I already fucking- like, Yeah, fuck it, give it, give it to me. I went- I'm the reformed, give me my play- make me I like, know you are. You, you have give a villain- Yeah, yeah, you have a villain complex, <laughs> I know, I know. It's um, a little- it's a little bit funny. But- it's a little funny. I actually, um... I think as you're holding the RPG, like, and you just kind of have it in your hands, um, I think I'm gonna have, I think I'm gonna have, uh, I think I'm gonna have Iza take a powerful blow. Holy <laughs> shit! No, no it's, not, it's not the RPG. I promise it's not the RPG. <laughs> I don't want to nuke Iza. Yes, you're nuking me. All right, let's fucking... <laughs> let's okay. nuke Iza, let's go. Take a powerful blow. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Oh. <laughs> God. You're so lucky. <laughs> as I didn't, I didn't want a new Kiza. As, uh, you feel this, like, dread that comes out of nowhere about your current situation. You feel this like palpable dread that like builds in your throat. As like, as like Nolan is like standing there and he's just getting so excited about this fucking gun. He's like holding it there and he's like he's like vibrating with excitement over this RPG. Yeah, that is something I would do. <laughs> and as he's like vibrating, you feel this like dread that's building in your throat. You feel scared. And luckily you luckily you um you pass, so you can, um, or, like, you didn't get hit, so you are good, but I think you kind of feel the dread still. Alright. Anybody else getting that feeling? What feeling? The feeling of, like, I'm about to start crying right now. Yeah, we're fighting a god. <laughs> No, no. But I well, have a rocket launcher. Everything is okay. I can kill God with a rocket launcher. What's the rocket launcher? I'm gonna kill God with a rocket launcher. Bro, you're about to start making out launcher. with this rocket launcher. <laughs> <laughs> At least not make out with the rocket launcher. Yeah. Can I use the right mask right sex move on the rocket launcher? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be the one to say it. Uh, as you are, as you are, um, like holding this rocket launcher, um, I think, I think, Bren, you start feeling the dread. Ooh. Okay, let's just put the rocket launcher down for like a quarter <laughs> oh, of a second. Now you listen. <laughs> what, but like, what if God shows up for right now? I need to be ready. If God shows up right now, that back blast is gonna kill the four of us combined before <laughs> they even get a chance to touch us. Well, what? How do you want to go? Do you want to go out? Do you want to go out because Booba the Fool fucking decked you? Do you want to go out because the back of our? Yeah, you're asking, you asking me if I want to go in a blaze of glory, uh, and murdered by an ancient eldritch god, or if I want to get second degree burns across my body and die slowly on the floor. <laughs> it's Booba the Fool or fucking <laughs> Rocket Butcher. We need to get you a smaller gun, Bessie. No, I like the big guns. No, no. Like, get, like, one of these. I'm gonna hold it up, like, with my pinky up, and there's, like, a little charm on the end. <laughs> does it have, wait, does it have the Val developer gun buddy? Stop yet! <laughs> it has the riot buddy! <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Is so it no. the one that all the 14 year olds draw? Yeah. What? Uh, we'll tell you later. It's fine. We'll tell you later. <laughs> I have the riot gun bunny on my oh, fucking well, now launcher. I gotta... 
All right, we'll talk about we'll talk about top ranking Valorant later. Um, but I think no. everybody <laughs> begins to feel this palpable dread, as 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 Spy stands there completely unfazed. Okay, do you <laughs> wait, Rain? Are you feeling it too? Yeah, I don't know. All uh, right, maybe we should leave. Yeah. Can you hold on, buddy? Buddy, we need to hold on. Wait, actually, spy, calm down for like two secs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. Distantly, distantly far away. You Six. 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 <laughs> okay, I need some seconds to collect myself. <laughs> yeah, for. <laughs> Take your time, Shotty. <laughs> okay, I did my deep breathing. I'm back. Welcome <laughs> back. Good. good, 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 good. I think Brandon was saying something. I was saying calm down for two seconds. <laughs> seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I am calm. Well, do you feel the pressing existential dread yet? No, I think that's just you. No, it's like a palatable, no. like palatable uh, existential dread. That's what I'm. I'm trying to sort out my. I'm trying to sort out my cards here. Like I know that we're middle aged in this universe, but we don't need to be having midlife crises. Right middle now. aged. You two are middle. Okay, never mind. Um. Yeah, the odds, <laughs> if we're middle aged, you're also middle aged. Yeah, but you're like probably old. and probably more so. So you're like oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, in fact, you're probably like in your fifties. All right, be careful, like... Issa. You're gonna pop a vein. All right, let's take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe maybe we should leave. I'm gonna find like something to hit things with, and then we should leave. What did wait? What did you get? I found a letter. And my mom. That's all. Aww. Wait, are our parents in this universe? Man, my mom and dad don't give a shit. <laughs> to be I... fair, I did also find this in a uh, it manifested on a blank piece of paper in this weird ass warehouse. So who knows what's going on? Magic. And we've been trying mean... to figure that out for the last hour, so. <laughs> Oh, we still Does this mean... anywhere, but now you can go through walls and Issa can summon Jamin. But maybe <laughs> it's bound to only get weirder from here. And we're also being chased by Boo Boo the Fool, who's um, also Cthulhu, so we should probably leave. Cthulhu the Fool. <laughs> oh man. Anyway. I love Cthulhu the Fool. Cthulhu the Fool. You know, I had to I had to submit an acting uh, questionnaire, and they asked me what my favorite bedtime story was, and I said I said I think I said like uh like it was like Cthulhu for beginner readers. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna survive the end of this stream. I'm gonna fucking pass out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are we from doing? laughter from time. from laughter. <laughs> um. Uh, but, yeah, I'll, I think, I think, Spy, I think, um, I think you kind of see everybody's dread around you. Do you think it clicks for you? Yeah, I think so. I think you get it. You also, you oh. know, I think if there is a god out there, you know, I, I'd give you the reformed. I already said I was the reformed. No, I, no, I know, but I'm saying, but if there was a god, I don't, I would get you, you know, you know me. You'd be yeah. like, yeah. As. Oh, that's sexy. Alright, ooh, that's cool. What, wait, why did I get the fucking Capri spinning emote? Because what, that's Jesus? your, because that is always, you used to have that emote all the time. As your you know status. What, that's fair. That's fair. You have it as the hype frog right now. Yeah. The PP burnout. P 
Yeah. That is your ability. And these are your moves. You have two Scion moves and two Reformed moves. You'll notice the Scion one at the top. That was the first move I gave you. Because that was <laughs> that was so easy. Look You're how, so right. Look how fun and easy that move is. So easy, so free. <clears throat> You're so right. <laughs> You'll notice some of you guys have information, uh, backstory, who mentored you into super villainy, villain complex, who first showed you that you could do good, the homies. Dude, I was just crying over cads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cads, just the who changed you. Who changed you while, while gaming. gaming. <laughs> Had you escaped the gamer school? Oh no, these, these are all these are all Ch Katie's answers. I know, but it's so funny. <laughs> Cause these are all the doomed questions. How'd you first learn about your doom while gaming? What do you- where did you find it? It's like gamer school. Someone needs to bite off the cringe. <laughs> Those are all from Katie. Because I use the same sheet. They're so funny though. They're so funny. <laughs> Someone needs to bite off the cringe. <laughs> Alrighty then. Let's get a move on then scary in here let's go mm. the last but not least rain wing do you have a guess not yet i'm still chewing on it Alrighty. i will say you can feel from your hand the letter is mystical in nature it, it it probably just manifested what you needed to hear but you're not quite sure what exactly what exactly it means mm -hmm. I'm sure I'll figure it out. I'm gonna grab a nightstick stash. A what? A nightstick. Okay. Nolan, well, you have any ideas on what you can do besides swing that thing around? Be careful, by the way. <laughs> Point it directly at you, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Jesus! A downrange, Jiminy Crisis. No, I think I think I can do funky shit with like scaring the shit out of all of you. What? Like, I th fear, fear manipulation, I guess. Cause it's a little quirky of me. I'm a little. <laughs> so you're just scary now, all the time. <laughs> it fuels my ego. Okay, best. God. <laughs> You hear a voice Listen. that echoes in the back of your mind. Villain complex. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Worked up white boy with a little bit of dread. <laughs> TV. Right, it's Anyways. It's you. Anyways. You pick up this nightstick, and as you pick it up, it uh, shimmers for just a moment in your hand. Um, like this almost, like, blue-like shimmer coats over it. Um, before disappearing. But I think you sense that it's still there. Just kind of invisible, or at least very, very subtle. I know 
still can I hold that? Hold what? The the rocket launcher. Uh, do you, uh, yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. You I'll hold it. it, and as you hold it, this blue sheen manifests right over it and kind of coats it in this like, almost like, fluorescent blue tint. We're dissipating. I can give it back to him. It disappears completely. You make- you just make things shiny when you hold them. Me when I make things shiny. That's another piece of the puzzle to chew on, I guess. Nom, 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 nom. Do you want to make a guess? Um, I'll, I'll take a shot in the dark, because then we'll at least have a couple minutes to get out of here. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, I had a feeling. Sam. Close, but no cigar. As, I think, as you kind of, like, come to that conclusion, it, it doesn't really... To you, it doesn't clock right. Because it's like, the protege implies that you need to... I mean, I mean, it could make sense, but... Because clearly, your mom is something to your powers. There is something there. Um, and it, clearly in this moment when you needed it most, you were reassured. Mm -hmm. But I don't think protege is the right answer. It's very cool. I think that's close. And, you know, you could argue that protege and I could say, yeah, maybe. But I think in this case, I will say no. As... I since you did did you since you did miss I will reveal one of your stats. Um, proteges have a high superior. Your superior is zero. As you guys are hiding away, you hear noises. He draws closer. Before we left that uh, warehouse, I definitely stole some of those clothes. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Actually, there is enough costume supplies for you all to put on something if you guys would all like to wear uh, hero costumes. Yeah! Play! Of as, course. Yeah. as would you guys like to describe for me your dream superhero costume? <laughs> I know, Although, Chips, I improved a lot from the set from the first time we did this. I got better. Uh, I know, I'm first. sorry. <laughs> I didn't actually think this far. I'll go, I know what I'm taking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have... Uh, long black dress pants. Black, like, dress shoes. I have a white button-up, like, pinstripe. And, um, I pull up the sleeves, so it looks kind of like a, a batting, like a batter, uh, uniform, but swag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I have a white baseball cap with black stripes on it and two holes cut out for the horns. <laughs> Shit. And I got the I got my funky bat. Yeah. You just hear in the back of your mind with the Mr. Pinstripe suit, Mr. Heidi Heidi Ho. Oh, we know you got the answers. We all wanna know. <laughs> just just echoes in the background as you, <laughs> yeah, as it you perpetually plays in my head. As you step out from um from the side of the cache, almost like dressing room style, and have this bat over your shoulder. And I you're told ready you I'm to dying sexy. And you're ready to fucking go. 
the uh, noises get closer. I got one of my drives. Let's fucking go. Actually, yeah, you got one of your drives, so you can clear a condition. You don't. I don't think you have any, but also mark potential. Nope. And keep in mind, you mark double. Yes. I must find. Uh, you can mark them on the sheet uh, by hitting the little two. So I'll actually put oh, you at two potential. Oh, I see it. Thank you. Yeah, I'll put you at two. Alrighty then. Who's up next? I think I have an idea now. So, you guys know the fucking um, all black suit that Loki wears? Oh my yeah. god. I want, I want that with um, Zack slash Lurker slash Delusion's gas mask. Yes, kid! Oh. For sure, for sure, for sure. I want to look classy when I get my shit kicked in. <coughs> Yo, dap me up. Dap <laughs> Let's me up, go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Isa, you can have oh, additional. I got a... You can have additional <laughs> costume pieces, but most of your costume you can just manifest at will. Oh yes, and I found a picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to share with the class? <laughs> Yo, girl. Had and I couldn't go with the you know the classic you know I want something a little special and then I found this and I'm like oh my god gorge yeah you <laughs> oh the job oh, that I was yes, gonna go with the sure. fit, bro you're so yes. right you're so right I would literally look sick. <laughs> you would. let me enough whore <laughs> enough class right <laughs> I'm gonna. For the rest, so the rest of the class can see. This is what Isa has. Oh yeah, for sure. So the rest of the class can see. The drip. The drip. <laughs> the absolute drip. For sure. Alrighty then. <laughs> Finally, rain. Uh, I go simple. She's got like um like the tactical bodysuit, and I'll probably put like a cardigan over it. All right. Yeah. Rain looks by far the most normal in this scenario. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just an average guy. An average guy in an average world. I like to be comfy. The noises draw closer. And closer still. Your time here is coming to an end. Like, literally. Like, you're literally about to die. Kind of end, you know? Uh, are, At least are I'm we gonna end pretty. Are we fighting him here? Are we fighting? <laughs> We have our was, shit under control, right? I was gonna ask, do you want to take the fight to him? To his turf? I look to the other three. I like that's inviting layer actions. Uh, yeah, you said that is completely... You're so right. <laughs> I think that's completely in care. I mean, that is what Rain would say, but... Yeah. Why are you pulling me? I'm right. <laughs> um, I don't know. We're honestly we're best suited to fight him here because we're not gonna find other stuff that our other selves left behind here, oh. or anywhere else rather. As I will remind you, the move. Uh, when you all the best stuff seven nine, you leave evidence that you've been here. Or, uh, you believe evidence that you've been here, so somebody knows that you guys are here. But you got the stuff, though, so. Got the stuff. I think we have bigger problems than the person's cash. <laughs> no, no, it's, it, it, <laughs> I, I'm saying Encore knows you're in the cash. Oh. That is the bigger problem. That is the bigger problem. <laughs> that is the bigger problem. Well, we might as well, you know set up if this is where we're gonna make a stand yeah uh isa 
<laughs> Get it. Can you do me a favor? What if I yeah? said... All right. Can you just start flying upwards? All right. <laughs> I'm a... I mean, uh, were the wings on the whole entire time? Uh, yeah, yeah. You can manifest the wings right. now. You know how to manifest. All right. We're gonna do one more macarena and a sprinkler, and that's <laughs> as uh, as um, you guys are right by the industrial district, and this is right on the waterfront. But and you kind of like exit up onto the sky as the sun is beginning to set. Kind of like these these subtle like pinks and oranges begin to hint up through the very dark dust clouds that circle overhead over this beautiful ocean front, barely tainted. But you fly yeah. straight up. I'll, I'll look at you before you go and I'll go, just, just keep going and you'll know when to stop, okay? And I give you a thumbs up. You have a lot of faith, but okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna take off. Yeah. What are you doing, big man? I'm gonna look to the other two and I'm gonna say, are you guys, are you guys ready? As will ever be. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> um... I'm getting in front, I guess. <laughs> Don't stand directly in front of me, though. Uh, I, I would hope not. Don't want to go boom. I don't want to go boom. <laughs> my powers include not being... My powers include being fragile. As a matter of fact... As a matter of fact, actually, I think I will stand in front of you. <laughs> Just... <laughs> you'll, you'll know. You'll know, okay? Actually, no, I won't. Because I've realized what I'm trying to trying to foster here. I will stand beside you, but I will I will take the front. Alrighty then. Encore draws closer and closer and closer again before you hear knock knock and the doors blast open in an explosion as the entire um doors of your cache are destroyed uh we kind of the camera kind of like watching as the sticker of the De decepticons like is like uh like ripped into shreds as the glass shatters into pieces Hi, hello, I found you. Again, of course, you know. Had to deal with your... Whatever the fuck it is, your, like, corporeal man. Oh. <laughs> I'm quite done toying around with the side of the chessboard, so I think I'm ready to finish up. Aren't we all? Yeah, Dad. Are you guys feeling good? Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, I give him a thumbs up. Now, I'm going to be quite frank here. Um, I think we've got this handled. Excuse me? Yeah, well, I mean, this whole thing is just a machination of our friend's mind. And you see, if I've learned anything from the coming up on like two years that I've known him, is that my friend is through and through a gamer. And you know what they say about gamers? It's that they never look up. <laughs> now, answer me this, Encore. Have you ever been hit with a human bullet before? And I'd like to use Dangerous Web. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my god, roll. Oh, if this fails, I'm gonna be so sad. What do I roll with? Uh, you... Dangerous Web, I'm gonna... I let you... Because it's your masks label, it's the role that it's... It's what you embody, and I think I I think I'm gonna make you roll with mundane. Got it. Flat two d six. Y'all better be ready for that team. Oh, okay, but it's two, so it's a seven. Plus two, so that's a seven. Holy shit! On a seven to nine for dangerous web. 
Uh, yeah, so you, on a hit, your opponent trips into it, an opening or opportunity against them. Yeah, and you don't get a plus one, but, uh, yeah. So what is this trap that he did not look up for? When I, when he asks if we're ready to go, I give him a thumbs up, which was Issa's signal to start I going it. down. I knew it. You, I did catch up. I was like, you did the thumbs up. All right. <laughs> and as I gave him the thumbs up, Issa would go down and terminal velocity collide with uh, Encore. As, as um, Issa is like flying down, this kind of like spectral energy of this, like a the of of their um, uh, like their um, their electrodynamic begins to manifest as they slam, they become this electric fireball that slams into him at mock speed as he will mark another condition. Can it be ass first? That's a weird yeah. condition. I <laughs> uh, fall from the Onk. sky sitting. How are you feeling today? Are you angry? Are you guilty? Or are you ass first? Are you ass first? <laughs> I chooked on a gamer. <laughs> Very <Jesus>. nice. <laughs> as he's going to manipulate the chair. as he's going to manipulate the strings of fate into his favor. Um, you watch as these strings kind of like he kind of like um from the ground where like he has this like sizable hole in his chest from like being caved in. Uh, his head kind of like snaps up. And looks at you and he kind of smiles and his hands that are like broken kind of like begin to like crack back into place. And he um, flicks his hands up and these red strings begin to manifest from the ground. As he just goes, oh, how foolish of you to think I am being controlled. No, I'm the controller. I took care of my own string. I snipped that off a while ago. No, I am in the driver's seat now. So let's see what happens when I crash this puppy, huh? And he, uh, his hands all flick out, and I need everybody to take a powerful blow. Uh oh. <laughs> Remember, all right. regardless of the roll, you mark a death box. Okay. As we okay. are going to immediately enter combat. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Ooh, close. Oh. Ooh, oh, I thought that was me. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, I shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I still mark up a death box, even though I failed, right? Yes, everybody marks a death box, regardless of the result. If you score above a 12, you mark two. Ooh, you just... Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, well, at least you didn't mark a... At least you don't mark two. All right, so let's see. So we, you rolled a nine. Yep. Astra marked two potential. Travi Patty's getting his shit rocked. Oh, sorry. Little guy spy is getting a shit rocked, and then Rain is getting a seven. So everybody except for, except for Isa is at least getting mildly rocked. Hmm. Because I'm slaying right now. <laughs> slay. Partially so slay. Where do I <laughs> slay the boots down, Houston? I'm deceit. Uh, where do I put the potential? Under Astra or in uh, the. Uh, so you'll actually, on your new character sheet, you'll notice All at right. the top you have uh, potential right next to your labels. I'll mark that for you. I'll put you at two. Thank you. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Uh, as, uh, I'm gonna ask, what is everybody doing? Let's start with Brandon. Are you marking two more conditions? Uh, figuring that out right now. Um, I think... Yes, I am. Alright. I'm going to... 
do guilty because that's a little bit of my fault. How did you wait? How did you get those to appear without the? I typed them. Oh no, you did. Oh, uh, did I break it? Well, you broke the code. I broke the code for me. I don't. I mean, I have the other thing, so. Oh no, that's fine. It's whatever. Yeah, it's a okay. Also, actually, there. Yeah, I'll do guilty. Yeah, I fixed it. Oh, there um, you go. and I'll do um hopeless. Aw, you're a little hopeless start off, kind of guy. Start off easy for myself. I start off easy. It's so easy. Alrighty. Um, and I'll tell you what happens once I get everybody's results really quick. Um, mm. so spy. No. Uh, by the way, you would have actually, <laughs> actually, wait, uh, you rolled an 11? Yeah. Ham gave you a minus one, which in this case would be a plus one. Because oh, it's oh. So Is actually, that the last, I'm gonna the need last to- the previous roll? Uh, cause no, Ham- 11. Oh shit. Cause spy hasn't rolled. <laughs> Since the minus one. Did he know? Damn. Wow. That was the wow. hinder. That was from a while ago that I didn't get was to. It? Oh, okay. That's from a while ago that I didn't get to. So I think Damn. I'm gonna complete the request now, uh, and give you a two to your roll. Um. So. What the fuck? So mark two death boxes as you've rolled a twelve plus. Damn. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh yeah, they did. The chat did pick to go on a date with Encore, and then they rolled to hinder you. No, Ham Ham literally picked me because it was a tie. It was an even tie, and then Ham picked me. Well, because you're just a little guy. What the fuck, Ham? <laughs> this is your fault. All right, you just spent... <laughs> just take the L and mark two death boxes. You got this, King. You got you've this. You've been grinding out. You've been grinding out that angst for your PCs. Now it's your turn on the chopping block, buddy. <laughs> you want some oh, real? Shit, the... Oh shit! The consequences of my actions. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then, let's get this bread. As I think we're gonna enter battle again. Um, but uh, rain. You also rolled a seven and nine. What two are you picking? Conditions? You know, kid assign conditions. I will. I mark. Um... Where are they? Me when I played this game for like a year, and I every time someone asks me, I forget what the conditions are. Mark afraid and um, angry. Alrighty then. Alrighty, gamers. Let's <laughs> Lucas and Angelica beating the shit out of Javier in the elevator. <laughs> Dude. I didn't I didn't I didn't pick anything. You do you still need me to pick something? Uh yes. Okay. Are you okay? Yes. Oh yes, okay. Yes. Yes. Um Oh, I'll mark two conditions. Um, actually, you know what? I'll be a little quirky. I'm gonna lose control of myself or my powers. Oh, oh God. I think you oh, get I'll hit so one. hard you lose physical form. Oh. Hi. As, yeah, as, <laughs> as I think the strings that, uh, like, go out slice into, uh, slice into all of you, 
And I think, if you're okay with this, I think you get sliced in two. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> but as you get sliced in two, your body um, instantly, basically almost similar to Encore, turns into this tangible goop. Um, as you, your body begins to, like, lose its form, and as your, uh, body begins to reform, you guys all watch these eyes begin to appear over his form, like, these eyes beginning to open everywhere out of this black, uh, goo that, like, comes up from the ground. These, um, these eyes, the, like, tendrils and mist that begin to sink out, and, uh, I think, like, I think your, like, head, like, almost, like, rolls back before rolling forward. Uh, and, like, your body, like, contorts in a way that I think scares the rest of the party. Yeah, like, that's where I my think, hopeless and guilt come from. As I think, I Watching think, my friend get chopped into. I think, I think you guys all watch, like, him get chopped into before instantly becoming goo and, like, circle, like, coming back. And effectively, like, pulling himself back together by his, like, gooped up straps. As I think, I think, I think, Spy, you hear in the back of your mind... The, the most common phrase that I've been saying for the past four weeks. What's goopin'? <laughs> you have not said that once I've in the past four weeks. I, I, I've, I've literally been I've, saying that every time I've been walking into acting studio. For sh I'm, I wish I was kidding. I just go, what's gooping? Because I heard, I heard Charlie Slime School say it, and now I keep saying it. Okay, but I have not heard okay, you say well, that Okay, well, what's gooping? <laughs> You hear it in the back now of your begun. mind. Now it's begun. Now it's begun. You hear it begun. in the back of your mind. What's goopin'? What's goopin'? Alrighty then. But I think I think that is very scary, and I think that's why a lot of people mark conditions is watching their friend get sliced in half, and then. Turns a very scary goop. Uh, have you ever played, um, what it is? It's the same, it's the, it's the, like, Friday Night Funkin' mod that this comes from. This little guy. It's, I think it's Bob. Yeah. It's like the it, 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 it's like you turn into like goop. It's like this. I have this I have this image. Just, this is what you become. That's not. <laughs> Isn't that the bong? <laughs> I looked at that first. Yeah. Like your insanely realistic eyes that are like over this like mm. inky black surface that coats your form. Dope. Dope as fuck, for sure, for sure. Uh, who's up next? Oh, wait, that's right, we had to do team pool. Um, your influence works a bit differently because, well, unless you would like to declare that somebody doesn't have influence over you, I think all of you guys have influence over each other. I would yeah. think so. Mm -hmm. So, uh, who here is the leader? Hey, Ent, because yeah, that was... Ent. Yeah. Oh, good night, Brody! Good night. So you guys still had two in the team pool. You get two more when you enter a fight. Um, the leader has influence. So you get another one. Um, do you guys all have the same purpose? What is your purpose? Oh, yeah. Let's beat this. Fuck, let's beat this dude's face and let's go. <laughs> Get him. Yeah. Alrighty then. Uh, that looks like a six. Uh, are you guys, um, are you guys, uh, do you guys mistrust this, like, Brandon guy? All the time. <laughs> Heavy no, quotation marks. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you. I wouldn't blame you for a second. <laughs> I'm a little weaselly. I'm a little rat-like in nature. A little weaselly. <laughs> I'm just gonna. No, you guys don't trust mistrust each other. <laughs> um, are you guys ill prepared or off balance? I would say, Rain, you 
You don't know what your abilities are. Do you even have abilities? Can you can enchant things like Minecraft. I can enchant things like Minecraft. You're so Minecraft core. You are the enchantment table. <laughs> I can't believe That's you were the librarian all along. It's me, Minecraft enchant table. I got no idea what I'm doing. I'm probably a little off balance. I mean, all the time, too. Alrighty then. That looks like six in the team pool for me. Wowza. Yeah. Also, <laughs> for anybody who's watching the stream, no, you didn't accidentally just hear Saikuno. That was an accident. I misclicked. I was trying to pull up more music. Oops. You know what was just released, though? Uh, I don't know if you kept up with, Lud and Sh with Ludwig and Schlatt, and they oh, made copyright-free yeah. music, but... I have copyright-free music from them now, so... Hell yeah. Ooh. You guys want to you want to hear some fucking banger classical music for sure? If, are we gonna oh, juke it sure. out to classical music? Oh yeah. We're gonna juke it out oh, to boy. classical music by Ludwig and Schlatt. <laughs> 2020, 2022 is a fucking fever dream. <laughs> Alrighty. In the last three years, I've been a fucking fever dream. <laughs> Let's get this fucking bread. Was. Alrighty then. So, who's up first? Can I roll to defend uh, Issa? Can I grab her and just get her fucking away from Encore? Yeah, sure. Roll to defend. Grabbed. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fucking grabbed. Let's go. Nine plus, I believe, two, right? Uh, yes, so yes. eleven. Alrighty. What does this look like? I think I just charge in. I think we'll say we'll say for the sake of of flavor that Encore is between her and myself, and I think I charge straight towards Encore, and right as I get up to him, or he could reach out and interact with me, I hold my breath and pass right through him. Dude. And then, the minute I pass by, you hear a big gasp of air as I <laughs> grab her by the shoulders, yank her up onto her legs, and start running. I am yeah, and stolen. I think he goes to grab you right as you do. Um, and you can feel yourself almost, like, trip as he goes to grab you. But for through sheer force of will, you power through his luck. And are able to grab Iza and go. I will clear a condition. Alrighty then. Because we are a little, we're a little stacked up on, uh... Yeah, you're a little, yeah. On team pool. As easy as it would be to add one more. Yeah, it'd be I so think, easy. I think have, being able to use my freak a little bit better is preferable. Alrighty then. Let's get some spy in on here. Yeah, um, I think I'm going to pull... Pull the rocket launcher from my goop and real rematerialize. Alrighty. And just bet you weren't expecting a queer with a rocket launcher, fucker. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking launch it at him. Roll to directly engage a threat, and because that was so fucking funny, I'll let you take a plus one. <laughs> I have a plus three to, to date. Oh no! Wow! <laughs> what? Wait, no. With a plus three, that's a five. Help me! We have so much team pull. Please, you can't make this fail. I need it to hit, or else this is really embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll help. 
Yeah. We can all <laughs> Who also wants to help? Actually, you know what? I'll have why don't I have Astra or sorry, why I'll have Isa and Brandon help. I have a specific reason for this. I'll have you two help. I'm gonna right. law my I'm gonna law my bat. Chuck it. Yeah. We only get one. <laughs> well then fucking Electro Jamin better take it. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, Actually, I got that's you. So, that's so smart. Oh my I god, mean, I know. You th what, I know you, exactly. We're gonna tag team right now. Yeah. Okay? You throw your... Like, you th he said do that thing, and I'm gonna throw the bat into the air towards him. You throw... You, th <laughs> you throw the bat, and Jamin manifests in, um, in physical form, and he just goes... As he just goes... Um... Sorry, I have to look up your stands again. Alright. Jamin, my builder, butterfly, boss bitch, and immediately takes the bat, grabs it, and as the rocket launcher goes off, um, you guys, it's like, it's this cinematic shot, right? The camera's facing as the rocket launcher goes forward, and as it's, like, going forward, this bat lines up and literally hits it, and as the, as it, the rocket launcher's hit with the um, bat, with this, like, mystical energy, it, um, instantly gets this, like, coating around it, like, this electrical coating, before it shoots even faster and explodes on impact as he will mark another condition. Time to go. Let's fucking go. Fucking go. <laughs> high five, you, <Lisa. laughs> High five. <laughs> fucking high five. We deserve that. Yeah. Um, as, um, when you, however, to directly engage a threat, I'm gonna have it be that you, um, that, that was, are you okay with that being, like, an impressed surprise or fright, frightened? Yeah. Oh, Brandon, you have a minus one because you didn't say hi to Chips at the beginning of the stream. Yes. Cringe. Oh, I didn't see you say hi to as, sorry. As, uh, as... Once again, Spy, you are getting attacked by Encore. Oh as, my god, he's obsessed with me. <laughs> as as oh. he literally explodes into pieces before all of the pieces begin to seep up and multiple Encores begin to form. Seeping up. As he just goes, oh, oh, you're not the only queer villain here. You can't. This oh, not, shit. Doesn't really, oh, it doesn't really. Oh, oh, oh. He's, a little, he's a little spicy. It doesn't really work like that. Oh, you know, I'm a little. Oh, my he, God. Boo Boo the Fool is gay? <laughs> <laughs> so it, it means I'm not homophobic when I do this. And he's going to try to kill you. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, oh, Rain. <laughs> You are the only person who could defend. Would you like to defend here? Well, you you better bet your ass. Don't touch him. Roll to defend. I sure will. Uh, so 2d6, and I will tell you what your bonus or minus is. Oh, I run, open up, and roll regular 2d6. Where is it, you? Okay, but this classical yeah. music is kind of bossing. You have a plus two. That is just barely a hit. That functions. That is just barely a hit. Wahoo! Wahoo! Let me put on another song. Let's go from classical to cyberpunk 2070s. Oh, yeah. No. Actually, I'm going to put on more Risk of Rain. Yeah, even better. Specifically Survivors <laughs> of the Void DLC. You're so right, Tava. He just like you for real. He's just like me for real, for real. I made him more queer this time around. <laughs> um, how are you yeah. defending a uh, spy? With a seven? I'm not gonna lie. I just throw myself in the way. I'm so fucking glad you said that because that is exactly the. That is. Ex I'm not even kidding. That is what I have written as what activates your powers. You got a four. You got a four. As. As. Uh, you throw yourself in the way. As all of these strings begin to. Um. As all of these strings, uh, begin to. Um. 
uh, basically go to slice, uh, to slice spy, and you jump in the way, and as you jump, this spectral armor, boom, immediately repels all the strings, as this blue armor, um, literally repels the red strings, uh, even causing some of them to snap and break, as, as you are suddenly coated in this large purple, or, uh, blue armor. Um, and you guys, uh, the rest of you notice, uh, this armor that manifests almost like, uh, like a knight in shining armor, um, has one specific feature about it that is very reminiscent, is a blindfold over the eyes that somehow Rain can see through. As, uh, as you basically throw yourself in the way, and boom! Reflect all attacks. Would you like to take a guess at your playbook? That, that, the other one. <laughs> the, almost the one that I said. The legacy. Everybody here has figured out what their playbook is. We As Rain. Actually, I'll just post it in, like, Spy Be Like Gabago since... For me. <laughs> For you. As you have divine armor, magical weaponry, and, 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 and god, godlike beauty. <laughs> godlike beauty. Your legacy. Uh, your legacy members are Rain Mom, Rain Sibling. So Rain Mom is still active and prominent. Well, except for the, you know, whole... She... She's active and prominent in your home city. Of course. Your real Rain Mom. Rain Sibling is the next possible member of your legacy. And Encore is the greatest opponent you have ever faced and is still at large. Too. And you have three moves from the uh, legacy and one move from the soldier. And I will let you roll the move for the soldier right now if you want. However, you will expose yourself to danger, retribution, or judgment um, with that 7 and 9. Yes, I sure will. Can I have you roll to take a powerful blow? Mark the death box. <laughs> My little line. That was... Too much line. It's okay. Yikes. Okay, so uh, you. <laughs> That's, um. I already roll conditions. That's for. Oh, that's for. Oh, for your for before we get started. Mm -hmm. Wait, uh, what did you roll I'll for roll conditions? Conditions. I I hit the custom one. I could just hit conditions. For, wait, I have two conditions. Shit. You and you. There we go. That's better. Alrighty, so you have an eight. You have an eleven for uh, before we get started, mm -hmm. and an eight for uh, your conditions. So. Choose one from the seven to nine. Oh, he gets an opportunity. Alrighty. I think the opportunity that he gets is that, um, I think the opportunity that he gets is he's gonna get the jump on Yza. Damn. <laughs> as he's going to destroy your stand. No! As... Jamin! Not Jamin! Yeah. As... I mean, can't I just... <laughs> well, okay, whatever. <laughs> um, I mean, as... Oh my god, Jamin! No, oh. <laughs> oh, no. As... As all of these spectral, um, or all of these, like, uh, multiple versions of Encore all slide out there, these strings, and while most of them basically br 
barrage off of the off of your armor uh the ones that do uh hit hit uh S madam butterfly's stand damn and thus uh you watch as the stand bursts into stardust As Encore just goes, aw, what a shame. I'll just have to do the same to you so you can match. As he is going to go after uh, Isa, almost sensing this kind of, like, weakness that he can uh, take care of. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna attack you. Um... Who so rain went? Uh, I'm trying to remember who I I lost train of thought so quickly. Who just, has not gone in a little bit? I, I used I think I used dangerous web and then yeah I think it is Isa's turn. Oh, it's my turn. Yeah, he's going after you. What would you like to do? Keep in mind, by the way, look at your moves. You have some special yeah. moves that might help here. Like stage fighting. Or That's cold exactly and, what I was Or cold at. and cruel. Cold and cruel, my beloved. Did I flick? Can you do this? Ooh, cold and cruel is really good. Okay. If I can take out a fucking condition from him. Uh. I'm gonna try cold and cruel. Yeah, what would you like to say? Uh, probably gonna say, like, I know your pathetic ass ain't coming after me after you just poofed my stand boyfriend. <laughs> I'm gonna have to show you a little lesson about trying to mess with my things, and she's gonna sassily. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna sassy shooter him with the gun. <laughs> I'm gonna hold that up. So, are you, are you stage fighting or are you cold and cruel? I wanna be cold and cruel. Cause that's, that is like a, you're prov that's basically like, almost like a provoke. So how are you shutting him down? I wanna show him. Cause if he's sensing a weakness within me, I wanna show him differently. You're so right. Queen shit. Queen you shit. Yeah, block. roll. So and I'm gonna pull out the fucking clock. Yeah, and you have a plus two, so yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, that that is just two. you. You're so right. That's the shooter. Okay, let me roll a flat d6. And that's a plus two. I'm not adding it. I'm just. Mm -hmm. Should I add it? Yeah, you can add it. Just write plus okay, two. Okay, just two? Oh, plus two. Okay. Plus two. Okay. I'll take a nine. <laughs> Unless. Unless. One of you wants to help. Your yeah, team um, pool's because... at four right now, so you guys yeah. can help. I'll help. Yeah, how do okay, you want to help? Okay, then we can make that a dent. Uh, can I, like, passively use fear manipulation to, like, make him hesitate for, like, a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. As he will mark afraid. As my outfit is much. <laughs> Spooky. As he, he looks petrified. He just kind of has this moment where he's like, You 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 can't defeat me. <laughs> I have the power of a god. I am a god. Not when you're messing with a goddess, bitch. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> and he just looks, uh, like petrified. <laughs> I can't lose. I can't lose. I, 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 I can't go back. I can't be some sort of prop. I'm not some sort of. I am alive. I am real. I made myself this way. I will not be bested by some 
idiot, young adult-looking people who decided to play dress up. Aww. You're stumbling over your words a little bit over there. I am going... I am going to level this city if it is the last thing I do. And I'm going to drag you down with me. As he is going to... As all of these strings are going to go out and they seep into the ground. As the ground begins to shake and bubble. He is going to try... Well... He's going to try to put an end to the city. So I'm going to... Oops. The music and put on the final music track. Oh! It's Hotline Miami, so... Hell yeah. Alrighty then. Hotline bling? That can only mean <laughs> one thing. His boss music is hotline bling. <laughs> yeah, as as these strings um uh, seep into the ground, as he is going to try to cave he's as he's basically going to try to use the strings to destroy the entire city by causing a massive earthquake. Manipulating the probability of an earthquake in Halcyon City from 0% to 100. What would you guys like to do? Can I spend one of my hold? Yeah! Uh, what would Lock you like to spend your hold to do? And I'll even spend two of it, because I want to do two of these. Um... Uh... That's right, because you got an 11. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna present you with an option. One is one, and one is two, and you take the one you like better. Okay. Because I'm complacent. Um, I would either use two to A, cross the distance between them and you, and B, stun them. Or, if you would let me, I would use however many, I don't care, to redirect their attack to another character or nowhere into a wall or the sky. I think I will let you redirect- I'll let you close the distance. Mm-hmm. And I will let you redirect their attack. But it has to be to another character. Can that character be me? Yes, it can. I will do that. Absolutely. Roll to take a powerful blow and mark a death box. I shall, I shall, I shall. Uh, your armor will take the brunt of it. Your armor is stronger than any steel. It is mystical in nature. It's the manifestation that summons when you lay your life on the line for someone else. Which, you know, you're you're pretty good at. I love you. You're very good at laying your life down <laughs> for anybody. It's so simple. I mark down the death box. I roll. I can I use another one of these funny little moves in this sheet? Yeah, sure. Okay. I think you have uh never give up, never surrender. So Savior, do you have in here, babe? You have two savior. Good. For I think you. nobody has a stat that's a three. But I gave you cool stuff instead. If you're okay with that. Yeah. That's an eight. That's an eight. Functional. Functional. So you will mark a condition, <laughs> but. Uh, you will, uh, stand strong and choose one. So you can either get an opponent, um, or opening against your attacker, you rally from the hit and inspire your team, or you keep your attacker's attention. I will say, he's, he's hit scraping the bottle of the barrel. You guys have made him mark four conditions. If he's still standing, Ooh. he can only have one more. 
Well, unless I'm a little bit of a gamer and I say, I don't know, made a custom condition, but I would never yeah, that do would that. Let's go, let's go. That would be crazy. I would, like, never do that. We're sitting at, like, mm -hmm. two or three game right now, right? Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm. You want to narratively rally from the hit? I I either want to take an opportunity or keep his attention. Either either read as giving the homies opportunities to me. Yeah, I think I think you should give an, um, an given give you should create an opening. Cuz I think okay. I think I think there's one person who can step up to the plate now. Baseball pun completely intended. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon. What is up? You want to hit a home run? Oh, you know I do. Are you feeling lucky? Mm. Oh, I'm feeling lucky. This as is I, my specialty. As I think I think the yeah. opening provides itself. Um as I will let you cuz you have not rolled suck at domination this entire game. Um yes. would you like to roll suck at domination to bat him out of the park here? Oh hell yeah. Alrighty. Uh, actually, you could also just roll no pure, no powers and not nearly enough training because the Monday is bat true. is the Monday bat actually, is that. Actually, yeah, you should probably say, do that. I could do either or. However, would you say that pulling Issa out of the explosive range was considered saving a teammate's life? That I would say so. Would you consider actually? Would you consider dangerous web pulling off a ridiculous stunt? I would. Are you gonna you're gonna <laughs> unlock your moment of truth, aren't you? I I could, but I was actually gonna add a plus one to my. I mean, I would <laughs> let you use your moment of truth. Also plus one. How's he? How about this? Would would rolling it fill, max out his conditions? Would if I rolled well, would that max out his conditions? I think so. If you got like a twelve plus. I think here, if you did something re like if you really bodied him here, I would make him mark another condition, and that would be the end of the fight. Then I will unlock my moment of truth, Ooh. and I will use it. Why don't you read it aloud for the class? This is the moment when you show them exactly why you belong here. You do any one thing, take out any one enemy, no matter how insane, no matter how ridiculous, because that's you. Their jaws are gonna drop when you're done. Of course, pulling off a stunt like that tends to bring unwanted attention and a dangerous reputation. I Brandon, think... please take away the end of this story. As he will mark, no matter what you do, he will mark his final condition, and you will defeat him. And I, I, I give you complete creative freedom. You may do whatever you want. Whatever you believe will defeat him. This perfect. is for you. I think I grab Issa's wrist and I start to run. And I think Armageddon breaks loose around us. And as I do, I turn to Spy and Rain and I go, distract him. I think I got this. <laughs> and I think that Spy, you use your powers to manifest his fear. And as he turns to you and lashes out, I think Rain stands in his way and negates the blows in this massive explosion that wrecks the, si uh, the seaside. As we continue to move past falling debris and upturned ground, I reach out and grab the bat that electromagnetic Jamin drops. <laughs> and I go, I need you to get me up high. And you summon your wings and both of us, uh, you now grabbing my arm, uh, we shoot up into the air. And as we get just high enough to the point where we can see the scope of the city past us, I have you let me go. And I take both of my hands and I wrap them around the bat and I do a somersault in the air, hold it high above my head and crack it down on him. <laughs> You guys watch as the bat cracks into Encore, and as the bat connects, you are stalled in mid-air um, as time stops. As he literally, he just, as he gets hit, he goes, no! and 
shatters into Chardolin pieces. His goo form solidifies and shatters like stone, like glass, with fragments ding, 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 scattering onto the ground. As you have defeated Encore, and you have closed the curtains on his final performance. Oh, uh, you just killed someone. <laughs> Let's fucking go! I'm down, son. It's just in drawing. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> the pieces shatter. <laughs> <laughs> and you kind of like. You hit the ground pretty hard. Uh, luckily, the force of, like, hitting Encore basically saved you the entire fall, but I think you hit the side, and it just kind of, like, bruises your shoulder, and you're like, ow. Uh, but you get up, and he is defeated. Shattered into pieces beneath your feet. And there are people watching... As, e as Isa's playbook kind of dictates, there are people watching in the background, and cheers begin to ring out. Celebration. You guys have literally manipulated all of fate and reality to win this battle. Against all odds, Against everything, you stand tall, strong, a little bit quirked up, and together. Together, you win. I think there is a moment of almost this serene silence that passes over as you all stand. Before I think you all just start fucking dapping each other up um, and just start like celebrating oh, yeah. in complete unison of like, oh yeah, we just did it. Also, hello, friend. Oh my gosh, hello. That's crazy. You guys just, Hello, we just defeated uh, the main villain, Encore. Thank you so much. We Thank you so them. much for the raid. New um, followers too. Hello, new people. Hello. Yeah. Um, but as the, as literally this moment of silence passes, I think you guys all just start fucking dapping each other up. You're like, let's go. Like, <laughs> is that yeah. immediate celebration? Well, I think I'm even out, stand, Jamin. I think even like that spectral Jamin comes back and just comes and just, yeah. just, just to dap you guys up. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Just to dap you guys up for sure, for sure. Um. And yeah, um, there is kind of like this moment of celebration. Like you can hear the like very quietly as civilians have been watching uh, this kind of um, this kind of uh, uh, aria of celebrations and cry. Oh my! Whoa. God. Oh my gosh! Oh, wow. Whoa! Oh, holy thank fuck. you! Oh, my gosh. So cool. Thank you so. Much. Oh, that's so kind of you! Oh. oh my lord, that is so kind of you, thank you so much! Oh my god! Legion5120, thank you so much. Thank you so much! Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna cry a little! Oh, don't cry! Oh, that's so sweet! I'm gonna cry! Thank you don't so much! Cry. Oh! Just a little guy. I'm just a little guy. <laughs> but you the littlest to... guy. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you. Gamer tears for real. Um. <laughs> but back to to the game. 
you guys all uh, begin to celebrate Spectral Jamin dabbing you guys up. <laughs> uh, the RPG, uh, like, I think, I think... I think, uh, Spy, I think you're still, like, holding on to it. Just the kind of, like, <laughs> Just a bit of almost excitement at it. Like, just kind of, like, holding on to it in, like, um... <laughs> refuses to elaborate. <laughs> for sure. What an absolute chad. For sure, for sure. Um, I think you're still, like, holding on to the, um, to the RPG. Just kind of, like, giddy. Uh, with, like, oh my gosh, we just did it. Um, is there more ammo around? Oh no. No, no I think you're no. I think you're all out of I think you're all out of ammo just because Can I can I roll all the best stuff to like, you know <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god you know, oh, Thank you so much. I don't know how to do math. That's like Wait. That, that's that's a lot like of at bit. least one dollar. <laughs> wait, no, because that's wait, cause one, one, isn't one. like one bit like one cent? It's 115 not money but like bits i don't know thank how you so much thank you so much i don't know how money works that's so cool <laughs> i can't do math Holy Holy fuck is oil tycoons thank you go Chuck. crazy pie god thank you so much um i will say i think there's no rpg ammo left because you the the whole building that that was in was kind of obliterated by his like strings of fate um, that kind of, uh, tore through the surrounding area. I think that is the reason why, uh, uh, I think, um, I think that is the reason why there's no ammo, but I'm sure, I mean, Issa still has her, like, bright pink gun, if you, if you really want to okay. shoot something, if you're really like, ooh, I see thing, th thing, go boom, boom, bang. Well, it's not funny, it's not funny what? if it's not a giant ass explosion. Spy, 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 spy. I'm not giving this listen, to you. Listen, listen. <laughs> what, 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 what? I may have only figured this out two minutes ago. Oh, thank but you I so can much. manifest magic weaponry. Oh, Rain, my beloved, I will get down <laughs> on my knees if you give me a magic rocket launcher. Please. <laughs> I, I am on my I knees. We can shoot it together, hand in hand. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Would you like to manifest with your abilities that you have just discovered? <laughs> Literally at the end of the fight. Would you like to manifest a fucking rocket launcher? I will manifest him a magic rocket launcher. Yeah. Um, this kind of like uh as you kind of hold out your hands. As you kind of Holy oh my, shit. Oh my gosh! Don't need to do that. That's so kind of you. I'm like, I have no idea what's going on. I'm like actually <laughs> crying. My God, don't cry. I, I like trains. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you so much. This is crazy. Oh. Thank you. This is so cool. I'm actually. <laughs> Alive, sock. I'm literally <laughs> sobbing, crying just a little. I'm like, it has been a very long week, so this is so so wonderful. I've also been prepping this one shot for like months, so this is like crazy. It's true. It is true. This is like super cool. So thank you so much for oh. everybody who just came in with the raids and with the. It really means the world to me. So thank you so much. I, for those of you who came in here, uh, so I, uh, made this one shot as a love letter to my friends. Um, the, uh, premise of the one shot was that, uh, I would make them all play themselves as, like, a big surprise twist. Um, and so that is, uh, this is the one shot that I made for them. Uh, as, like, so that they would get to play themselves. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Thank you. So I part way through the game. I basically let them know ahead of time, like, oh, um, like your characters, they might die. Like you need to be careful, you know, like you just got to kind of, uh, you just got to kind of be wary uh, with the sole purpose of they would not be playing the character that they wrote. They would be playing themselves. And I made them all secret character sheets and gave them all custom playbooks. Um, or like I, I basically gave them playbooks 
based on their personality, because I have had the absolute wonder and honor of knowing these players for about two to three years. So that is what I've written for them. So they're, uh, the whole premise of the one shot was that they were uh, going up against the eldritch goopy monster jester known as Encore. Uh, that was so wonderfully drawn by one of the players. I think I can pull up the uh, poster for it. But yeah. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so that is the premise of the... I am like a broken... I'm a broken <laughs> shamble of I, a man. I am... I honestly I, thought... Like... <laughs> I, I'm in shambles. I'm just a little guy who is broken. You're all very wonderful. Hello, Hello. Sailor. <laughs> I'm, I'm broken. I I honestly thought you were gonna pull the switcher on us and then proceed to still try and kill us. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I really thought that there was some other like twist that I, that, that like we were gonna die. No, I, no, no. So well, like anyway. a, the twist, the the twist was just was just the surprise of of. Me not actually killing your character, I was just gonna give you guys new characters and give you, let you guys play yourselves. Which that was, was really neat. And uh, the one shot's not the, the one shot's not over. It's near the end, yes. but it's, you guys have a there's just a couple more things, just a little, just a little. Oh, um, we have to check on you back in Cal. Yeah, back in Cal. I'm not there. What? I would never. Um, but yes, this kind of like cacophony of. Uh, sounds of people kind of flooding back into the streets and kind of uh, kind of um, like cheering at this celebration of Encore's defeat um, as you guys kind of like stand victorious on the side of this uh, ruined city pier. I'm posing for the cameras. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> You're posing for the cameras for sure. Actually, I'll keep it on Ocean Blue, because Ocean... Actually, no, I know exactly what I'm going to put on. I'm going to put it on the cliff, because that is my favorite image. <laughs> Gotta make sure they get all the angles Oh, for right. sure, for sure. <laughs> as... As you guys are... As this, like, cacophony of celebration begins to emanate out, you all find yourselves... You guys all find yourselves kind of like... It's almost like that scene in Megamind where all the people begin to, like, close in and celebrate as all of you guys are just kind of, like, standing there and, like, kind of celebrating a little bit. Uh, it is this very wonderful kind of, like, moment because I think sometimes, uh, especially us, like, you know, Discord users who just sit on our ass... Uh, and play Valorant, and I guess, I don't know, and top brag sometimes in Valorant. <laughs> it's such a rare occasion. It's such a crazy moment. Top brags for sure. Um, the stream notifications are so busted. They're taking their time. They're catching up is what they're doing. Um, but I think you are all... I think you are all surrounded by this cacophony. Is there anything that you guys are doing uh, before we move on to the next part? Or I guess the last part? I'm demanding an, an everything pie be brought to me at this at this exact moment. I think some people, I will say, I, you did just use your moment of truth. And uh, the moment of truth's like, your kind of like beacon thing is that people are like a little, like they kind of hold you to that reputation and... Uh, think of you as dangerous, I think people are, like, would be willing to give it to you, but just out of fear. Just just out of fear. <laughs> so many everything buys so, so little time. <laughs> you can, people, people cobble together what they have. And keep in mind, the city has been destroyed for a couple weeks at this point. So, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's like a grocery store pie. I don't know. Yeah. That's, like, <laughs> half destroyed. They're, they're scared of me as I they, they bring you crutch offerings. myself on. They, they, <laughs> yeah, they, they, like, they bring you offerings and hold... As I crutch myself on my bat. <laughs> um, but also, uh, you do have another, uh, you have a spectral, uh, spy. You have your spectral RPG. If you would... Oh yeah, baby! If you would, if you would like to use it, if you want to fire it into the air or something. Actually, well, I... 
Do R RPGs like have the thing that like explodes out of it at the very end? The so, back blast. Yeah, the back blast. Do oh, it anyways. No. <laughs> it, it's a little funny. Well, I'm sorry you didn't get any emotes, but I I have some emotes if you would like them. I have Stony Time. Stony Time. I think you have access to Stowee Time if you would like it. Big fan of Stowee Time. You did get one, though. Stowee Time! Stowee Time! Thank Big... you for the support. Thank you. Big fan of Stowee Time. I mean, it's- I mean, it is like a mystical RPG, so... If- if you would like to... Thank you for the subscription, Legion. Thank you so much. And thank you for all of the support. It really means a lot. Um, but I think if you would like to fire it, I'm sure, I'm sure that would be very possible if you would like to do that. It is like magic, so like... It is if you would like to do that, big man. You want to go crazy? Oh wait, shit! You're talking to me. Yes, I am talking oh, to you. Hi. Yes, sorry, sorry. sorry. I like, I, I like totally like. I, so here's the thing. I was looking at the little bits thing on like my mod chat, and like they kind of spin, and so I was looking at them. I'm sorry. No, um, it's okay. You're going crazy. They oh, no. slowly Guys, rotate. Please, please hydrate. Please hydrate or dehydrate. Hydrate or dehydrate. Hydrate. Shit. We are so dehydrated. We are so. We are literally we so are. thirsty. We are literally little guys. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just, I just want to shoot another rocket launcher. Yeah, and because it's magical, I'll say there's no, b like, back blast. So I don't take out rain. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't kill rain. Actually, I think you fire it into the air, and it goes up, and then it explodes. And, and as it, like, sp explodes in the air, it makes this, like, these, like, blue particles that almost are reminiscent of, like, fireworks. Like, you just had a giant, um... Like, this giant yeah. firework that went off. And yes, big stretch for the little guy. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, Ace, let's go! Ace, yeah, it is. They're supposed to be Dead Man's Hand, which is the Ace of Spades. But yes, they are also Ace. Um... But yes, I think these fireworks, this like, this firework of this RPG kind of shrapnel <laughs> rings out and this like mystical blue energy. And I think you guys, I think you guys kind of feel the sense of, well, the sense of victory. You feel the power that came from all of you guys banding together and, well, beating the shit out of some spectral goo guy. I don't know. Just for sure. For sure. As you guys are standing there and kind of like taking this moment, you feel very lightly the same tug on the center of your chest that you guys felt back in California when you guys were... Well, uh, I don't know, a couple hours ago, sitting at the table, playing this dumb, stupid game with your friends, um, full of dice and books and papers. You feel the strings begin to pull you back. You feel your powers, not siphon away, but almost go back into hibernation. Like... As if they were always within you, but maybe just not always manifested in the real world. You feel the pull just ever so slightly tug you forth. And I think you guys all know that your time in Halcyon City 
in Brendan Conway's Masks A New Generation is coming to an end. Not yet, but it draws soon. And I think you guys recognize that. This kind of, like, serene moment of knowing the end of it all. And then you're gonna go back to California and, I don't know, we'll, like, go to San Francisco and act like nothing happened the next day, and then, <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. Ask Kate about this, guys? Ask the GM about this? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. dude, you wrote Encore? That's crazy. We'll grab everybody in a, in a football huddle before we're yanked back into the ether. And just, just put my arm around everybody's shoulders and just go. No, no one's gonna believe us, right? Nope. Absolutely not. Not a single word. I think we should talk about it so much, actually. I think we should. How, how easy do you think it would be to gaslight Spooky into believing that? <laughs> Listen, oh, no, so we easy. should make everyone at Yellowstone think we're insane. You're so right. <laughs> I'm not gonna be famous no more! <laughs> You're always famous to me, babe. We're gonna end up on one of those conspiracy <laughs> blogs that they talk about, like, years down the road. Um, oh, yeah. This is like a UFO kidnapping thing. As you guys are talking, the portals begin to open, but you are not pulled through. Something oh. is pulled through. And arrives back here. You see before you... Patrick, Beatrice, Astra, and Travis all step through the portal. Um... And kind of, like, almost, like, a little bit, like, worse for wear. You see Travis has, like, a bowl of popcorn that he's, like, munching on. Um, you kind of see uh, Astra kind of, like, stretching her arms as uh, she kind of, like, moves through and sees you guys. Um, and Patrick kind of, like, crack his knuckles, like, and kind of looks like he's about to get ready to beat up Encore before he, like, steps on a piece of Encore, looks at his foot, and goes, Oh. Just wipes his foot on the ground like nothing happened. <laughs> Alright, well, that's one half of the issue taken care of. I think. <laughs> as well, well, well as Travis, like, I made you. Travis looks at you. You're... Travis looks at you and goes, So you're my, uh, what's it called? You're my creator, huh? Here, take my bowl of popcorn. Hands it over to Astra. Fucking cracks his <laughs> knuckles. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> listen, listen, buddy. That's pretty fair. That's totally. That's no, he's, pretty. He's 100. He's he's justified. He's, I'm sorry. No, he's super justified. I just would like you to get back to California alive. <laughs> he's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh yeah, it'd be so easy. It'd be so easy, in it. Yeah, you wanna come here? Oh, you want to yeah. apologize for giving me a future self? You want to apologize for all the trauma you inflicted me? I have a list. You know I keep a list, right? Oh, that's right. You know that I keep a list because you yeah, keep a list. I made your list. I made your list. Guess what? Guess what? I'm your creator, bitch. I could put you through worse. Stay away from me. He stops and he looks at you and he goes... Monday. I expect... I expect a gift basket in front of my house Monday. As an apology. I gift basket is a wonderful, amazing. I'm watching you. I'm okay. you know what? you know I can manipulate reality. You know that I can come get you. I what and if I, I can what manipulate if I, your what reality, went, bitch. What if I went to your reality, huh? Huh? Oh huh? You, you literally can't. You literally can't. I literally I can <laughs> because I'm Travis you fucking Kane. Can. Yeah, and well, I'm first name last name. I'm not doxing myself on Twitch. You're so right. <laughs> I'm OG Superior Spy! <laughs> baited, absolutely baited. Um, Patrick, Patrick is just, like, standing next to, uh, Ents, like, the same way that he stands, like, 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 they are almost, like, <laughs> they're standing next to each other, like, in the exact same way, like, I don't know how to explain it, but, like, Brandon has a certain way that he stands that's almost, like, like, he <laughs> kind of, like, crosses his arms a little and, like, Yep. Has that kind of like yeah, and I think I think Patrick kind of stands, kind of, kind of like <laughs> tilted to the side a little. Yeah, tilted to the side a little. So he looks over at you and goes, 
So you, uh, you defeated Encore, right? Yeah, I, um, uh, I did your job for you, man. Yeah, well, you got lucky this time, and he'll dap you up. Oh, I definitely did. I definitely did. You dap, you dap up your own creation. Yeah. Um, Astra, uh, strolls over to you, Iza, and just kind of, like, um, kind of, like, tilts her head to the side and looks at your earrings and just goes, that's a, that's a Iza's Bizarre Adventure reference, isn't that? I, what do you, you need to tell me everything right now. <laughs> oh my god, wait, you're actually Iza? Oh my god, dude, I follow your blog. Blog? <laughs> can, can we, can I get a picture with you? Yeah! <laughs> and she'll pull out a phone, and, uh, the two of you snap a picture together, and she immediately starts texting and is about to go post it. On, <laughs> on, um... Instagram. Oh my, there it is. You tag me. <laughs> I'll see you Wednesday. <laughs> um, Beatrice, Rain, you were approached by Beatrice as she uh, puts her hand on your shoulder and goes, You kept him safe, didn't you? I try. You guys didn't burn the house down or anything, did you? Uh, well, n I mean, no, I mean we put it, we put it back, but you know it's fine. Did you fine. feed the bears? Mm -hmm. Very important. Uh, there weren't any bears. There were cows, though. You have a lot of cows there. Are you, are you good? Mm -hmm. There's like, there's yeah, so many cows, there so are, many fucking cows. There's too many, honestly. They're not our cows. They keep. Coming they're so up fluffy the though, but th there's so mm -hmm. many. Mm -hmm. The bear got into the trash again. <laughs> the bear, the bear ratted us out. <laughs> as that bear, that fucking snitch, he got our ass. As as she puts her hand on your shoulder and just goes, "Thank you." She smiles at you, and goes, "You must be a hell of a good friend. You put yourself before your others." But don't forget yourself, right? You're cool, yeah, too. Me, too. She'll hug you. Well, I'll hug her. And the portal remains open as you guys begin to feel that tug. Going well, through? You're going through? Yeah. Uh, I'll go through. Before Travis Kane kills you. <laughs> no, no, I want to say one more thing to him. Yeah, you want to say one more thing to Travis Kane? You got kidnapped last time I played you. I'm gonna make you go through hell, fucker, and then I'm gonna cleave. <laughs> you bet! You bet! And he immediately, immediately, um, he immediately, like, goes to reach out, and the portal just closes. Like, his is the only portal Hold that back. closes. <laughs> <laughs> As immediately, like, uh, Travis turns, sees the other, like, portals that are open, and goes, and immediately, like, I think Brandon, like, you and Travis make eye contact and both look at the portal. <laughs> I start bolting for it, and I go, uh, uh, Patrick, your brother, Matthew, right? <laughs> uh, yeah? Keep him safe for me, he's my backup, and I jump into the portal. <laughs> <laughs> What's a, a backup what? And as uh, Travis immediately goes and misses the portal, he goes, fuck! He turns, and he sees your door, Beatrice. Or, sorry, Rain. Have I got... <laughs> but whatever, whatever leftover juice I have, I think uh, I manifest like a pair of gauntlets and cross my forearms in front of me and go, you don't want to try it, elemental boy. And I bolt. What? <laughs> Wait, how did you know that I- What? And he- you stun him long enough to go through the portal and it closes behind him. Iza, you're the last one left. He looks Please. at your portal, he looks Please. at your portal, and he begins to like summon like rocks and he goes, I'm going through that fucking portal. Me and Corporeal oh, Jamin are already pointing both of our matching guns at him. Yeah, I know, it, it, it's like you literally uh, point your gun as your back kind of arches and like his like does the same like- like Jojo Arch as you as he both put your weapons back to in back. Him. And as he goes to summon rocks, and I think Patrick grabs Travis's leg and slowly pulls him to the ground and just goes, <laughs> It's not worth it, bud. Just <laughs> let it go. I I look at Esther one more time and like, I'm a liar and a fraud. It's a Wednesday. I don't know what Wednesday, but I'll see you a Wednesday. Promise. 
<laughs> and I think <laughs> that is when you go through the portal and it closes. You all begin once again moving through the spectral blue and white portals. This kind of long, almost like warp tunnel that uh, passes you through dimensions, curving and bending, moving and ebbing as it flows forward, and you all arrive. Uh, yes, and as as the uh, as you guys are moving through the portal, uh, Isa, you are like moving through the portal, and your stand um, kind of like does a little salute as it fades into the back room, disappearing, Aww. and almost um, and just kind of like just gently turning to stardust as you begin to move through the portal. Uh, your armor, uh, rain, begins to retract and go back. Um, this kind of, like, spectral blue armor that you had fades and turns into sprinkling stardust. But, you know it's always inside you. Maybe just, maybe you just can't let the rest of the party know. They don't know that you're actually, a, like, a, a legacy, like, IRL, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. They can't know. You just gotta pretend. <laughs> don't even worry about that. Um, no, uh, spy, your f- that's the third time we've, like, almost doxed you tonight. Your form solidifies as you are, like, bracing through and, like, protecting yourself, um, uh, from Travis's wrath. And as your <laughs> form solidifies, um, you are thrown through the portal as, um, and as you kind of, like, exit out the portal, um, and you kind of, uh, you actually notice that as you are going through the portal, your costume doesn't disappear. You're still wearing your horns, and you still have your bat. <laughs> as you all arrive through the portal, and a right back in that in front of the wooden table in California the same table the same wooden table piled high with snacks cookies and way too many dice for any reasonable friend group to have all in that little house on the hill surrounded by miles and miles and just miles of forest for sure And I'm gonna play one final song as I sign us off for the night. Wow. Let's get that final song. Let's do Red Heart Strings Club for sure. Oh, I know why my earphones isn't working. There we go. Hello? Hello. Yep. Hi, all right. My headphones unplugged for just the briefest second. You all find yourselves and all on that little house on the hill, surrounded by miles of forests and cows across the land. Snacks strewn about the table, with a single book in front. Masks a New Generation, written by Brendan Conway. Uh, the You'll notice that it's uh, the room is in a bit of disarray. Uh, clearly something happened here. Um, clearly something happened here. And uh, the house looks like it had to be repaired. Um... And you don't see anybody around the table, but you hear footsteps as uh, you kind of see uh, Cade walk in, just like holding, uh, just like snacks. It just goes, okay, so I found everything that I could find in the house. Uh, are you sure this is... He looks up and he sees all of you guys. I... I've had a really long day. Are you guys oh, good? <laughs> Wait. But it's been it's been nuts, yeah. Nah, uh, day's been normal. <laughs> yeah. You would, but they were just like you saw that, right? That like. That was saw a what? Really good session, kid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, it felt so. I was like so into it. It felt so real. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm it one of the one of my but favorites we, now. We didn't run the. I didn't run the because the. I had to stop the game because the. You guys like disappeared and then like. Your carrot. Are, are you okay? Do you have COVID? COVID. I don't have spreading. COVID. I think you have COVID. <laughs> I think you're imagining things. You should go lay down. 
It was yeah. the longest stressful game. Hysteria is a... You're, uh, you're gaslighting me. <laughs> gaslighting? Is that one of those things that your friends taught you? You should cut them out. <laughs> It's one of those silly phrases that your friends tell you. It's, you were just, I just bought, I just got these snacks and I, well, I can't drive a car, but like, I just, but I'm gonna, I promise I didn't have any weed. I'm just. You say that every time you smoke. <laughs> <That's true>. <laughs> 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 Fuck you guys. Fuck you well, guys. I we'll go out on the back porch uh, and we'll have all the snacks and you can tell us all about it. Yeah. And Oops. maybe and honey, maybe lay off the lay off lay off the drug ice for today. Content. And I think, <laughs> our, I think our camera slowly pans out as everybody, even Cade, bursts into laughter. A cacophony of laughter fills the space as our camera pans out from that little house on the hill. And that is where we're gonna end tonight's game. Let's fucking go, dude! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> dude, when's the next California trip, for sure? That was insane. Oh, that was so insane. That dude, was so that good. was... Uh, that as was promised, so as good. promised, I'm gonna show you guys the curtains, uh, the actual, uh, like, their whiteboard that they drew. Um, so, uh, for those of you who don't know, whenever I run, uh, one-shots, I have a roll 20 that they can, uh, use, but Masks doesn't really use any, like, like, just, like, anything, uh, so we just use the whiteboard <laughs> to draw, and... So I, I just saw the dick dick. <laughs> no, I was, I was drawing a heart, and it was going so well until you said dick dick. As... <laughs> You bastard. As I will. Let's go this way. As I'm going to move all of your PNG tubers to the side and shrink them. You are getting smaller, just like me. No. You're small as this no. is. This no. is. <laughs> this is the uh, whiteboard that. That my wonderful players drew. I made the buff among us. Yeah? You did. I made the golden brush as well. And you do the golden brush outfit. every time. I do. Mm. do. I told You've them, literally I told done them, that for over two years I told them that now. they could not draw tits and dick, so they drew a dick dick instead. They're watching metal. And a duck as well. Yes. Yeah. I told them they had to keep it appropriate so that I could show it off at the end of the game. So I made a hot, sweaty Among Us man. This is yeah. there's so many. There's so Honestly, many. Honestly, probably worse than anything profane. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck is that on top? Golden brash. No, no. Oh, Travi Patty. Oh, the Travi Patty. <laughs> yeah. What the oh, fuck that? Is that was probably Cad. That was 100% Cad. Oh no, that was me. That, that was, was you. you? <laughs> yes. Bro, you do not get enough credit for your roll twenty drawings. You actually slay tonight for sure. Slay. These are a, a slay. Literally slayed. Partially slayed. Literally slayed. Literally slayed. Totally slayed. I mean, someone he asked to draw a buff among us, and nobody else was taking the bait. So you're so I, right. That is my calling. Uh, so I, I was sleeping on that. I apologize. <laughs> um, but yeah, um. Let me see if I can... That might be really hard to show off. Um... Oh, your death boxes make me so angry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at my cute little one. Look at my cute little one down there. Yeah. Yeah. What's, what's wrong with my death box? <laughs> it looks like an abstractionist <laughs> art. <laughs> I don't even know how Literally many you have, like... A partially slayed. <laughs> Look, I even drew... I <laughs> drew... I even drew over the uh, red, uh, purple X that I made for Travis. I just, <laughs> I just drew another me instead of Astra in the corner. I drew me. I joined you. I one. joined you on that one. I saw you. <laughs> there you go. See. <laughs> I am a trendsetter. <laughs> it's because I hate I hate roll twenty, and it always my thing was already a penis flesh color, so I was upset. So I just kind of you know went crazy. Change, you know you can change your color, right? 
Yeah, but it defaults yeah, to it. But it defaults to the penis flesh. No, color. oh no, no. So what you do is you go to the bottom of the roll twenty where your name oh. is. You click on your color. Oh, and you're right. Change your color. So my color defaults to red every time. So yours defaulted to flesh <laughs> color. Flesh color. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we, Thanks, we're all gonna be crying by the end of this for so many different reasons. <laughs> I've already, I've already, I've already cried. I, this whole one shot has just been us cracking shitty jokes and. Oh yeah. Oh, like it has <laughs> been, be. it's been, it has been five hours of shit jokes, and I, you know, I really just needed this. They were I've, primo shit jokes. I've literally, I've literally oh, been working uh, till about. I, till about eleven thirty every single night for tech, so like I needed this for sure. This was my one day off, and I said, "Let's run a five-hour game, let bite, let's go." Hey, this is so <laughs> yeah, but it incredible. didn't feel like a chore. Oh, this it, was so no, fucking no. Fun. This is this is this is this is how I've. This is what I wanted to do. This is what I've been wanting to do for, like, over a month. Like, because I pitched this to you guys after I'd been thinking about it for, like, a couple months. I was like, I really want to do this. Um, ran it for the private crew where came Feed Me a Stray Cow and all of their incredible, incredible memes uh, from that game. Um, and then this was the only free day I had, so let's fucking go. So yeah, I think that wraps up the end of, just the end of the one shot, for sure. Um, seriously, to everybody who tuned out, thank you so much. To Legion5120, thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot thank you enough. That is so incredible. To Pi and, Gods um... and Sunimar, I, I might botch your name. Uh... I think it's Suni Mahara and the Liching Hour. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. This is absolutely incredible, and I cannot thank you enough. It really means the world to me. So thank you. I'm just a little guy, but you've made my heart so big. So thank you. And to my lovely, lovely players. And, oh, of course, and Liching Hour for the raid, thank you. Thank you so much. To my lovely players, thank you for being a part of this one shot. This was thank for you, you and I just... I'm not really good at the whole, uh... I don't know, I'm just not good at things, but I just... I have so much love in my heart for all my friends, and I just want to tell you guys all the time, so... Running games is just kind of how I tell it, so. Aww. We love Thank you, man. You are yeah, cared. Yeah, we love you too, you man. Are you did so good. Dude, so after, like, after I was kind of like, after, like, I ran, like, a mediocre game the other week, I was like, oh, man, like, I really gotta get back into my groove for sure. So, <laughs> with, uh, with, uh, season four of the War Harem, so. Fucking served primo five star <laughs> ten star give you a little kiss on the lips 10. while we're at yeah. it <laughs> my compliments to the chef and i give you a gob smacking <laughs> kiss on the lips <laughs> absolutely <laughs> this this shot so straight up the to number one sex smooth come into play we're no, not right now. come here homie <laughs> all righty we're gonna Let's i go. think i think we're gonna have to fade to black as somebody <laughs> and we're gonna have to end this one shot let me see if there's literally anybody i could raid because I think that would be nice. I think we should pass the love on. I agree. I am so small in the brain. Let's pass the love on. Let's look. What I follow. It's not showing me the categories I follow. It's only showing me the ones that they think I will like. I know what I like. Give me uh, tabletop games. What? What is happening? I'm so small. <laughs> Here we go. Minuscule. Tabletop RPGs. Let's go. Let's do. <gasps> Ooh. I didn't realize we beat out the Blackout Club. Really? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there was a Yo. Blackout Club event. Yeah. I would raid them, but I did. They. I would raid them, but there's drama. There's tea. So. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. There's tea. Caught that in the bob. Caught, Caught that, that in the bod. Caught that in the bod. <laughs> uh, let's. Let's do. Ooh. 
what is that's Pokemon? Um, ooh, there's Vampire the Masquerade, D and D. Um, ooh, ooh. Uh, what do you guys think? I'm looking. Let's do. Let's do. Uh. Star Wars Halloween special part one. Ooh, oh, say interesting. Less. Say less. They only have one viewer. Let's raid them. Let's give them a little yeah. love. Yeah. Yeah. A little love. Yeah. So let's spread the love forward. Let's go start a raid. Let's get this. Uh, I think I need to. Yeah. There we go. So yeah. Uh, looks like they're running a. Um, they're running a Star Wars TTRPG. We love Star Wars in this household for sure. You um, just unrated them. Oh, what? How do I do that? I don't know. You I'm canceled the raid. I'm so small. What did I do? I'm I don't just... know. <laughs> just set it oh, back God. up. Oh, God. Set it back up and hold it. Oh, I got it. it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I figured it out. I figured it Hell out. Hell yeah. Alrighty. Seriously, I cannot thank you all enough. Thank you for coming and tuning out into the stream. This means the world to me, and I cannot thank you enough. I hope you all have such a wonderful, wonderful night. Good night. Have a good night, everyone. Night, night. Good night. Wee. I think. I. Can I use languages just to read a map? Um, it worked. Do you want to access one of these systems to try to pull up a map? I think I'm still streaming. I don't know. How does this work? Go on to OBS and hit end stream. You'll be good. No way.